What's up everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Resident Roleplay. This is a show where a group of friends and I get together and play a homebrewed tabletop RPG set in the world of Resident Evil. I'm your host and GM, Raphael, and I'm joined tonight by our lovely cast of players. Oi! Hi. Hello. We've got Sarah's back, reprising his guest role as Doug, so uh, this will... It's Doug. This will be neat. So, just Doug. yeah, just Doug. Uh, Doug. And we finally have artwork for Doug too, which you will see popping up in his character card uh, throughout the throughout the stream, which will have his stats and everything. Because we didn't have that last time, uh, yeah. but now we do. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yep, yep. Uh, also, speaking of pretty sweet, I mentioned this to the players briefly, uh, but I'll reiterate it again for the chat. Uh, tonight is uh, we're going to have. Uh, bit of an interactive element returning that we've done once before, which is we're going to have you guys be able to vote on a certain encounter. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye on the chat for a link to that. Players, if you see a link, avoid it uh, at yes. all costs. Avoid it like the plague. Remember, <laughs> chat, do like you did last time and give us an easy fight. <laughs> yeah, the last, because yeah. the last thing that the chat voted on, you guys absolutely Be destroyed. Wrecked. They didn't even get to make a single attack roll against you guys, so <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> they, sh they showed up and they're like, surprise! Ah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so chat, vote something beefy for the these players to fight. No, no the, the little small one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That. Keep, a, keep an eye on the chat. Hoyle will be posting that link here. And, uh, and yeah, is. be sure to, yeah, there it is. Be sure to reiterate that, Hoyle, uh, if you ever see we have new viewers and things of that nature. So yep. that'll be ongoing. Um, and I don't believe we have any announcements to get through besides those to start uh, up here. Are we missing anything? I don't believe so. Okay. So... That being well, said, so we're working with uh, a bit of a new rule set. Um, not, not entirely mm -hmm. new. We updated our rule set, so it came with some new features that the players are going to be working with tonight. Uh, yes. Combat Medic, which is Emil's class, got uh, very much buffed uh, because it kind of sucked before. So <laughs> so Emil will be able to do a little bit more tonight, depending on what, yep. what happens. Um so with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and get this show on the road. So, previously, on Resident Roleplay, after escaping a mysterious cabin in the Arklay Mountains, beneath which lied an Umbrella bioweapon facility, your party of survivors returned to Raccoon City proper. There, you noticed that a uh, disease seemed to be sweeping through the city, while you tied up loose ends. Chauncey certified the death of his fallen partner, Mike Foster. Uh, Arkea brought the news of his death to his family, which she'd been adopted into. Emil made preparations to deliver news to Maria Carmine, the widow of his friend Jack, who had been turned into a tyrant at the cabin facility. And Katara returned to her home in search of her parents, who now seemed to be missing. The next day, the party returned to Raccoon General Hospital, where Chauncey, at the request of Police Chief Brian Irons, gave a false report to the county coroner regarding Mike's untimely demise, claiming that Umbrella had no involvement. However, after witnessing a crimson head gruesomely transform into a liquor in the middle of the hospital, Chauncey retracted his statements. You exited the hospital to find downtown Raccoon City in turmoil, as riots had be uh, broken out at a nearby sporting event. On your way to Chauncey's apartment, you were approached by a gun-toting man by the name of Doug, who was looking to escape the chaos in the streets. Cautiously giving him a ride, you discovered that he is trying to get to his family, who had gone to take refuge in a cabin up in the Arkley Mountains. Arriving at the apartment complex, you managed to convince uh, Brandon Foster to come with you away to safety, while Chauncey caught looters in the act of stealing his vintage firearms. The thieves, unfortunately, got away. Next, the party headed to the suburbs, where Emil gave Jack's M1911 to Maria while informing her of her husband's fate. Uh, and meanwhile, the rest of the party discovered that the children of Arkea's former adopted family in the household next door had been transformed into zombies. The mother, Lena, barely managed to escape thanks to your guys' help. Informing them of the situation, you managed to get Maria, Lena, and Brandon going on their way out of the city. 
Afterwards, the party went to the Oswald household in search of Katara. However, she was nowhere to be found. After solving a cryptic puzzle involving a bookshelf and a series of paintings depicting the story of Cain and Abel, you discovered a secret elevator that uh, brought you deep into an underground laboratory where Katara was hiding in a towel. Now reunited with your scientist companion, Emil uh, brought her up to speed and delivered a sample of the city's water for her to confirm his suspicions that the T-virus has contaminated it. Uh, after Katara mused that the test would be easier with a raw T-virus sample, Chauncey realized that he had inadvertently taken one from the cabin facility and provided it for her trials. As Katara settled in to begin her experiments, the rest of the party returned to the surface. So, you now find yourselves in the Oswald household, preparing to depart, and the news has just informed you that the Army and National Guard are moving to quarantine the city and blockade all exits. So, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> before I leave, can I have a conversation with Katara about exactly what I got real quick? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Because I have, I have chem fluid question mark written down on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill oh. me. You're gonna die. Uh, I don't are, know. Are, are, I... are we retconning anything right now, or? Well, because uh, um, apparently, before I left, I, I was able to grab a couple of chem fluids. I don't know how many, just chem fluids. You guys talked before, about before trading, trading. Yeah, but about. then. After apparently something changed, and I may or may not have still have these gum fluids. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What? What? Uh, uh, Could Katara have spared any chemicals for a meal on his way out? Two chem fluid? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I'll take two. <laughs> 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 so, rewind, you have flashbacks of the time when just about when you're about to leave the underground lab and Katara mm-hmm. down here, there in her towel uh, handed you two chem fluids. Well, it's like it's like it was like uh, the original memory was like the, the handing over part was all blurred over and then suddenly yeah. it came into focus and there was two chem bottles. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> all right. Little packets of fluid. Little... <laughs> little fluid fluids mm-hmm. all right okay. I, I got i got two of them now i can get rid of that question mark so it's about 9 p.m right now on the evening of september 24th 1998 what are you all doing sitting in my driver's seat so you're already out to the hummer nice yeah yeah i made my way to the hummer after the news all right yeah, i think after i think that was the only thing i needed at the house so all right let's move out I'm going out to the Hummer, too. Okay. So. What's the quickest place to get to your family? <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> Did you get water stuck in your throat? Is that an in-game question, or? <laughs> yeah, no! I, think, I, think, I think that was in character as a meal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, that was, uh, okay. that was in-game. What's oh, the okay. quickest way I to get to your family? I was dying. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just caught on the uh, the water thing. I thought this was about... Oh. Yeah, no, I asked him if he got water stuck. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I was doing the voice, and then uh, I, like, something happened to my voice. Like, that's not right. That felt, that didn't feel oh, like okay. a voice. All right, refocus. <laughs> but, yeah. Scene. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're about an hour and a half outside the city, so I say we just head uh, directly north. Whoa. Oh, outside the city. Well, yeah, it's outside the city. We're in the mountains outside the city. Do you think? You think we can get past the, um, the quarantine? Are we? Already? I mean, there. Yeah. I'm... Are we in the quarantine right now? Uh, I mean, you just saw announced on the news that the city was going to be quarantined. Yeah. Um, you don't know the well, okay. extent of how how far it reaches. If it's just okay, the so city just or the county it. proper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They, well, they said on the news that it was going to be erected overnight. The blockade. So we better move fast. I say, I say we just get in the car now and drive straight through. I bet we can get there before they start blocking it off. Yeah. All right, just just give me directions. I'll drive. I think we, we need to stay off the main roads. Uh, uh, Raph, I, ha- I have a outside of game question. Yeah. Uh, where, 
where exactly is 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 my cabin? Where's like, my family? Where's it's my to family? the like, it's to the uh, the northwest of the city in the Arclay Mountains. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Where are we currently then? We're in the suburbs. You guys are, are in the suburbs north? with our which is kind of in the north northeast corner of the city, but there's uh, some roads you need to take. Uh, you basically have to get back to the city from the suburbs and then go out of the city to the mountains. Okay. Uh, and taking the roads from there. So we basically oh, okay. just need to head west and then go north. Yeah. Okay. So I guess group question. Do you guys want to get straight out of the city now and then go kind of start moving over towards that way, towards the west once we get out or cut through the city and then go directly north? Hmm. Can we cut west? Just straight west? I guess we can't. Yeah, we can. But the idea is, do you want to leave the city right now? Go out into like kind of the outskirts. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, you like, mean just, like like instead of instead of going back in, then go out. Just go. Yeah. Continue go out and then go the long way around. Kind of. Yeah. Just so we're outside the city before it gets like cut off. But then we're out in the middle of nowhere. We don't know what's out there. Is that possible? Wait, are, are, is all li- all could roads get lead to, the to your house? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Could we get to the mountains if we if we took the long way? Uh, so I'm oh, okay. So what what exactly are you trying to do with this? We're long trying. Way? We're trying to figure out whether it's better to just cut directly, diagonal, and go straight there. Yeah. And be in the city a little bit longer, or just head straight out of the city and then cut to the mountains once we're outside the city. But can we do? Like, can we? Are either of those viable options? Uh, I mean, you basically only have one option because from the suburbs, like the only roads in the suburbs lead back out to the city. So you have to be in the city for at least a little bit before you head back out to the uh, to the mountains because the road, the only road leading up to the Arclay Mountains would be from kind of the heart of the city. Uh, so you have to head back into the city right. from the suburbs and then connect there. All right. Well, it looks like we got to head back into the city a little bit, then then head out. Unfortunately, there's no other roads that'll take you directly to the cabin. All so right. we got to go back into the heart of it a little bit before we get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's hope the the riots haven't gone any worse. I'm just hoping they haven't put up barriers along the way yet. Can I put on my CB radio and the regular radio to hear what going on is going on? Uh, yeah, you put on the radio, so you're just like listening to uh, just regular radio chatter, kind of news and things like that. Yeah, um, and the CB also just is here if there's any chatter on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of chatter as far as news goes. Uh, you get the sense that. Kind of like with the news report that you saw last night, uh, some of the stations are starting to kind of shut down. Um, and that's about all you get from that. I think the military is probably going to be using their own their own wavelengths, their own uh, channels. I don't think we're going to be able to hear them. Yeah, I was going to I was going to ask, do you happen to know what that is being a, a, a police officer here? Would you know what the police use for? Yeah, is there like an emergency line or something that yeah. you guys... I mean, is there? <laughs> uh, not that you know of. You have your police scanner and uh, things like that to communicate with the other policemen. You're not entirely uh, aware of what would be used for this type of extreme emergency situation. Uh, okay, so we can like, always the military the wouldn't use Channel 11 also? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would guess not. We can always just uh, sweep the waves if we ever need to. Uh, we can, yeah. If you guys want to, you can scan through. But as long as it resets to channel eleven, because that's the emergency line. Anybody uh, have a like a tech skill? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody here trained in technology? <laughs> uh, I might. You are right. Uh, I might be the person? oldest person here. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we can make one of those like uh, FM scanners where it just scans through all the channels to pick up whatever it hears. You know what I mean? What? (laughs) 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 Or now you can slowly turn. No, it's it's a 1998. Remember this. I know, but you could do it back then too. Basically, what it does is it takes that scanner off the walkie-talkie and automatically makes it scan through all the channels nonstop until it picks something up. Yeah, like a a white noise box. Basically, yeah. 
but it's so quick that even if someone's talking, it'll scan back to him. Like you'll hear it as like full sentence. Anyway, that's an out there idea. Just a thought. I don't think we really need it because I think if we're going to be driving along, we're going to hit a roadblock and if, you know, whether or not we're prepared for it. That's fine. Well, if this ever, well, I mean, a little bit of a morbid thought, but if this ever gets any worse, we can always pick it up off one of the bodies uh, if a military guy gets got. I was going to, I was actually going to say that, but I'm glad you said it first because after that whole incident with that little girl, I didn't want you guys to think that I'm just out here looking for dead bodies and killing people. So (laughs) I'm glad someone else suggested it before me. So I do have. Kill anybody that's not already dead. Well, I do have a uh, like a general question for the group. How are we going to 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 handle threats coming up? Like, let's say living humans. If they're decomposing, shoot them. Fine. But I think just, I think if they're just regular humans, I mean, I think we have to take into consideration that not everyone is going to be out there with the best intentions at this point, too. Though. I know this. You should have seen my apartment. I say we head out and just kind of see what we run into. Hopefully we can pick something up along the way. Yep. If they can talk, you know, shoot to maim. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Shoot to maim. I, I, I think I think we can justify a threat when a threat comes and we'll handle it in that moment. But for now, let's just get let's get out of the out of the city and up the mountains. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna leave the rules of engagement up to the rest of the group. Because I clearly have a bit of a itchy trigger finger. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, newbie. newbie. Yeah. yeah, you got yeah, two you army. Gotta men pop here. a kid every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good for your health. That's honestly what Doug was waiting for. As soon as that apocalypse hit, he's like, "Oh, it's kid time." <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> Damn kids! Yeah. I got- <laughs> All right. So, does Chauncey take off driving then? Yes. All right, so you uh, put your keys in the ignition and rev it up and uh, start peeling away, heading out of the suburbs. So you eventually make your way uh, back from the suburbs into the heart of downtown Raccoon City. So while it seems uh, that many of the citizens are choosing to remain indoors, the streets are still crowded with cars, uh, most of which are headed west uh, along the main streets, particularly Ennerdale Street looks very busy. Uh, Some, you assume, are hoping against hope that they'll uh, beat the military blockade. Others, you suspect, might be completely oblivious to its existence. As you're heading out, you'd see, uh, like, a car packed so full that the trunk is tied down, attempting to back away from the curb just in time for a pickup truck to crash into its bumper. Hear them honking and the drivers yelling at one another, and you just pass on by. You also notice a homeless man off to the side holding up a cardboard sign with something about the end times scribbled in black marker. The end is near? Yeah. You don't spend long in this district, though, before moving away from the commotion and heading north towards the Arklay Mountains. Um, Mm -hmm. Can I interrupt for just one second? Sure. How much fuel would I have (laughs) by this point? And should I fuel up before we go up the mountains? Uh, that's something to consider. Uh, I would say, let me see, you've been doing a fair amount of driving, so I would say you're probably looking at about half fuels, considering that you didn't mention that you fueled up at any point in the past couple of days. I'll, I'll fuel up before we leave the town, and, or, yeah, leave, leave the city, and how much is that gonna run me? Okay, yeah, so, um... You, uh, the gas stations are still in functioning order. The person running the main gas station in downtown is, uh, just refusing to be shuttered by the whole incident. So you could still get gas from him, I'll say. Um, I really should have done the numbers on that Hummer of yours before we started. (laughs) Because I had a feeling this might come up, but. Let's, let's be real though. At this point, don't you think that people will be charging like 10, 15 dollars a gallon? Shit. In 1998. Yeah. In 1998. I mean, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, too. I'm, on top of I'm that. I'm saying, yeah. Taking advantage of us. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Well, yeah. I'm also surprised that it's not like full I mean, like, of people trying to just grab gasoline. I mean, if there's, one th- if there's one thing I've learned from the movie Birdemic, it's that people do that when the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, no. But the way I look at it, in 1998, it was a dollar per gallon. So That's even true. if they hiked it up, it was two dollars per gallon. <laughs> and I'm That's saying I got, a fif- 
I'm saying I got a 50 gallon tank and now I need $25 to fuel. So 50 bucks. So yeah, I'd say that sounds accurate. $50 will okay. run you. So mark that plus off. An extra, an, plus uh, extra if we have any. Do we need to buy candy bars or drinks or anything? Anybody <laughs> thirsty? Actually, that's a good idea. I think we should buy a ton of candy bars and uh, and water. That's not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, they seem to be. Carbs. Yeah, uh, you're able to get a couple of candy bars. I'll say you could get about uh, anywhere from ten to twenty candy bars, depending on how much you want to pay. I'll spend twenty seven. <laughs> I'll spend twenty seven dollars on something on stuff. Is okay. Yeah, I'll on say you, I will say you, you could get all the uh, candy bars for twenty bucks. Uh, you could get about twenty candy bars, yeah. but they seem to have run out of stock on water bottles. It's Just fine. as a Sorry. side note, I do have um, I do have two green herbs. If you guys remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does uh, Doug oh, make did that? You note? pick them up. I thought you. Yeah. I thought you never grabbed them. No, what there was I there was about eight or so I thought in the uh, bathtub, and I got two of them. Oh man! <laughs> Just, well, oh, if, man. if, if you remember, nice if you remember, I forget how many there was, but there was a bunch in the bathtub. And if you remember, we talked about whether or not to uh, put them all in your truck, and then that that whole you know girl came out, and we went into that other house. Oh. Well, yeah, if you I think it was them. in the uh, it was in the backyard of the uh, yeah the house next yeah. door. Um, that's yeah, that's where he got it. There was they had a garden. That's what it you was, know, the garden. Yeah, you know, right before I shot that little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a bunch of candy bars. Do we need a number on that? I said I'll, I'll charge you twenty bucks for all the candy bars. Yeah, no, no, for I how did, many we have? 20. Oh, yeah, twenty candy. So bars. I'm about to start rationing. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right, I'll put the twenty candy bars in the truck. Twenty, yeah. and I'll 20 say those those could those could stack. Uh, those all stack together for to yeah. occupy one inventory block in your in your truck. So yeah. or in your your Hummer. It's like a little box of candy yeah. bars. Is the candy bar just health? No, it's just uh, it's just gonna stave off hunger. I think mechanically yeah. is what it will do. Oh, okay. And I'm I'm just, I'm basically just gonna be using them to. Well, I'm the medic, so I'm just gonna be like, you need to eat. <laughs> eat. That's your main little, little simple survival. Yeah, it's, it's not, your, nothing that's, that's going to impact anything, but keeping us from starving to death. Yeah, it'll keep us from starving if we can't find uh, food. Gotcha. Real food. It's quick Wait. carbs, sugars, and uh, speaking of, do <clears throat> does anybody still have some water left over? Uh, we took all the water that was in your house. That was in. Brandon's house, and that was in. No, we didn't go back into Lena's house. Yeah. Uh, so we have two, like two houses worth of bottles. I think we have like a gallon and a half from Brandon. Yeah. I don't remember how much from you. Uh, uh, two, two and a half gallons, I think. Uh, I have a question for the uh, the DM. Uh, yeah. We'll just say two gallons for Chauncey's place. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. three and a half gallons water. I'm just thinking about the herbs. I got three herbs. Did I, did I give one to that woman? Yeah, you used one on yeah. Lena because she was That's injured. Right. Uh, That's and right. Fought back her infection. Gotcha. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink some water, guys. You guys thirsty? Don't drink too much. We're gonna need this to I just, to last a while. I just want. Well, he says he's got a bunch of water in his cabin. I was mm. thirsty now. You have a filtration <laughs> system? Yeah. All I'm right. just. Ob- that's if everything's still working. At the very All least, right. we can uh, we can fashion something together. You might be muted. At least. <laughs> I didn't. We didn't hear a thing <laughs> that you said. <laughs> you didn't hear me. No, I think you were muted for, or for a little bit. You're good now, but okay. I said that there. At least there's. Even if the system shut down, there's still holding tanks there, so there should be at least a month or two supply. Yeah, and he also has a well. I was gonna say if we have access to running water, that'll be nice because we'll we'll be up on a mountain. Fresh water mm-hmm. will be will be good. Okay, All right, I'm ready to head out of town if everybody else is ready. I'm good. We've got candy bars and water. So We're the four of up. you, all fueled up now, take off driving into the mountains. Uh, you, how what what sort of pace are you moving at, uh, Chauncey? Are you driving at? Are you going going uh, there in a hurry or taking your time? Not erratic, but hastily. 
So I'm not driving like a retard, but I'm driving with, <laughs> with purpose. So, fast or steady? Which would you say better describes? Uh, steady. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to need you to make a driving check as you head out into the uh, mountains. So, you exit the crowded city to the desolate road leading out into the wilderness. That is the Arclay Mountains. Uh, there's only one other car heading this direction with you. <laughs> is there any modifiers to that? No. <laughs> Thought as much. I, but, I should have got all my my crap rolls out. I never did. My <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You didn't do your pre rolls. But that's fine though. That beats the DC. So uh, okay. you managed to move along steadily because you're moving steadily. It wasn't very high. You uh, managed to uh, moving out at a, a fairly consistent pace. You make it out onto the long road heading out of the city. You uh, about uh, an hour later, Doug redirects you off the road to an unpaved path in the dirt and uh being night you know beforehand roadside lights were few and far between but out here there are no lights and the forested canopy obscures the moonlight overhead flashlight and so <laughs> yeah pretty much the only thing <laughs> everything is pitch black around you save for whatever is within the range of your headlights so yeah there was only one other car heading off in this direction with you guys you pull but you pull off the uh and head into this dirt path that seems fairly untreaded so there's one car coming this way but they're not going up the mountain uh well they're on the same road leading up to the mountain they're they were kind of trailing behind you guys who are we up. keep an eye on that on that vehicle <laughs> until i can't see it anymore okay and if well, we're going I'm... through trees i want to make sure i want to make sure that we're not being okay uh, that, that there's no one else in our immediate vicinity uh, as you guys pull off road and head down the dirt path, uh, you see a ch or Emil, you keeping an eye on it. Uh, you kind of stare out the back window and notice the headlights of the vehicle just go right back the uh, right past the place where you diverted off road. Uh, make a perception check, actually. Perception check. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just see the uh, the car go right past where you guys pulled off to the side, and it seems to be keep uh, seems to keep heading along the main uh, paved road. And as you guys go off road for a bit, mm. so I have a feeling they're showing up later. I don't know why. <laughs> so as I'm, you... I'm I'm gonna continue looking back. <laughs> okay. Just like just staring out the back of the. Or I guess I could just be looking through like the rear view or whatever, because I don't want to like get a crook in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I realize I'm also in the front seat. I think. <laughs> oh yeah, you but might no. be. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have decided which which seats we're in. Uh, I'm gonna. Ha I would rather have Doug be in the front seat than me and Arkea be in the back seat. Okay. I think yeah. that's the way we've been riding around, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> might be. Yeah. It makes the most sense since I'm kind of telling you where to go anyway. Uh huh. All right. So, uh, you guys uh, continue driving on into the mountains. About 40 minutes later, uh, you uh, the path actually comes to an end. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any more path ahead of you. Me. Does Doug know, like, the secret path? Or... Yeah. <laughs> It's a walking path at this point, I'm assuming. Oh, well, that went out to everybody. So I was trying to <laughs> paste the whisper, but uh, <laughs> I it, only, only the first couple of lines w went in as a whisper for some reason. Oh, did it like... Yeah. There was, it was like a line break or something. Yeah, it might be it. <laughs> I'm going to clear the current chat. Well, like I didn't read it. <laughs> okay. Nope. I just scrolled up, but I can clear yeah. it. So am I taking over, telling him where to go? I mean, you can. <laughs> okay. Hey, um, we have to travel on foot here, uh, just north a little bit. Uh, but I just want everyone to be aware that I've kind of, you know, as I said before, I've been preparing for this for a long time. So I yep. kind of have <laughs> some traps in the area. Uh, okay. There's, uh, there's, there's bear traps. So stick close to me and I'll tell you when they're coming up. The best kind of traps. Do you have a light? 
I, I don't have a light, actually. I'm going to hand him my LED torch. Okay. Yes! All right. All right. <laughs> you now have... Actually, uh, let me get you the stats on that item in case you ever want to use it. I don't think... Well, as a survivor, I don't think you have proficiency with it, but... Mm -hmm. I'll get it to you anyway, just because that's in your inventory now. But for the most part, it can be used as a flashlight. Uh, but it also can be used as a it, weapon if need yep. be. Is the flashlight, fly. like, passive? I don't need to do anything? Yeah, uh, it's yeah, just you, one of these things. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah, so just to use it as a flashlight, uh, yeah. You, yeah, you, you could just say that you have the flashlight yeah. out. Okay, Doug has the flashlight out, and um, he takes point. All right. I'm, I'm behind him, and I have my gun drawn. Okay. So you guys start traveling northward on foot. <laughs> oh, um, uh, oh, uh, herbs. <laughs> Survival check. Advantage. Chauncey? I was going to say, I wanted to reorganize some of my inventory with what's in the truck and what's in my inventory. And then okay. I want to I wanna stand by with my, my nice AR-15 with its flashlight. All right, yeah, it. you attached the flashlight to it last time. Uh, yeah, so with your uh, survival check, th this being the Arclay Mountains, naturally you're able to procure one green herb from your surroundings, Emil, uh, recognizing I it in the shrubbery. So, as you guys uh, move ahead, since Doug is taking point, I'm going to need you to make a survival check with advantage, since you place the bear traps to begin with. Gotcha. Okay. That's a D20. And then yeah. what's uh, my survival? survival? Uh, there it's should be a two. skill skill under, it's wisdom. under wisdom. Yeah. Under wisdom. Okay, plus three. Okay. I think it should be more than that because your your wisdom it modifier is what? It's three. Do you have proficiency in survival? Yeah. That means you had your proficiency bonus yeah. as well. So, so that's two. Two okay, on top gotcha. of that. Yeah, so 21. Uh, yep. the, either way, that's plenty. It's even a lot. Without that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, going through, you lead the party ahead. Uh, can I, make, also, a, can I know, make a note of where all of these are? Yeah, sure. You're, uh, you make a mental note as Doug points them out to you guys. That's a very good idea, because if you guys have to run back through here and I'm not with you, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, I don't think you said anything, Lisa, but I'm assuming Arkea is going with everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's following behind with her flashlight out as well. Okay. So, uh, I'm probably so, sticking close to her since she's got a better flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> heading heading, awesome. heading along, uh, Doug, you point out uh, several bear traps kind of concealed by tall grass along the way, and you kind of show uh, Emil, who is taking note, the signs to look for. Uh, should they need to notice it again. So, uh, you exit the foliage to a little bit of a clearing. There's a one-story log cabin in front of you guys, which has a small porch with an overhanging roof. It's quiet, it's serene, you hear crickets chirping, frogs croaking near the sound of rushing water in the distance. Seems like there might be a running river ne relatively nearby. The whole area is surrounded by pine trees. Uh, and you see that there seems to be uh, the interior of the cabin seems to be lit. So this is what RK would be like. Well, nope. Is this, no. is this your cabin? <laughs> this, yeah, this is it. But we go I in? can't. I well, I can't tell if anyone is here or not yet. Do you guys want to like take it cautiously? Well. I mean, it's your cabin. I'm behind you. I, yeah. Okay. So I'm. Doug is going to um, kind of walk up slowly, and mm -hmm. uh, it. It's. I'm assuming it's. Hard, we can't tell from the outside if anyone now or not, right? Uh. Well, there. There. You could see some light emanating from the few windows that are on it. Uh, okay. So there does appear so can, to be something can, lit up inside. Can uh? Can I just go on the porch and and try to peek through a window? just to make sure that it, it's my family in there. Okay, as you approach, actually, uh, before you get too far into the clearing, you hear a loud crash and shatter, and it followed immediately by some screams. Okay. Oh, Where'd that come from? Doug. It came Doug from directly ahead running. of you. Okay, you guys start running. Uh, yeah, Doug, Doug does. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Uh, 
gun and knife out. Uh, yeah. Let me get you guys some visuals here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's I'll switch it over weird. for the stream as well. Now it's like we're playing XCOM. I'm into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, is this your first... Is this yeah, your first, I think, uh, I think this is the first map, battle map. So everybody drag your minis onto the screen. You yes. guys are down here. Um, so I realize now that I forgot... I think I forgot to put Doug on oh, no. here, so I'm gonna have to do that really quick. Bear with me, uh, yep. but shouldn't take too long. I, I gave you his thing, right? Yep. By I'll the way, him. is each of these squares like my movement? Is it thirty yeah, feet? Each, each, no, each square yeah. is five feet. Five feet. Okay. So yeah. So if you have, uh, if you go over the ruler on the left, you can. What do you call it? Mark out your movement. Okay. Yeah, you can mark it out. But when you're moving, if you click on your character and press, or click and hold, and your character yeah. press space, you can also make different pads for where you're gonna move. So oh. when you're moving, uh, that would be that's a good way to mark oh. out your your movement. I gotcha. Yep. Uh. So let me hook you up with your mini. There you go. So. You guys should have control of your respective minis. Uh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, you look said, look, look uh, at the yeah. So you said you're, you're running ahead, Doug. Yeah. Um, now how far are we to start? Like, is this like where we ended up after already running or. Yeah. Oh, well, so this is where you guys are at the current moment when you heard the crash and heard the screen. Okay. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to run up towards the house. Uh, all right. In that case, I'm actually going to have you guys all roll for initiative. Yeah. Because it's going to start mattering how much I was gonna, how quickly you guys are moving. I was going to say, do I see anything? Uh, make a perception check retroactively. Okay. That's 24 on perception. Hooey. Okay, yeah. You uh with disadvantage actually because uh it's dim light. Okay. Okay. It's a 13 on perception. 13. Uh I would say you noticed some movement off to the side of the house up here. Mm -hmm. uh, out of the cabin up there. Uh b before the immediately before the crash and you saw the light sort of shimmer on that end. Okay, so right before we all start moving, I would have yelled out movement on the right. Okay. You guys hear uh, Emil call that out. All right. So, so... Hoyle is asking if you could do a bit of a zoom in on the map. A bit of a zoom in. <laughs> I'll bit do of a, a zoom zoom. To do a bit of a zoom in. Uh, but it'll, it'll definitely get really zoomed in once we start uh, getting closer. So just I'm just kind of zoomed out right yeah, now yeah. just because it's an open area. Got it. All right, so uh, sounding off, what are you guys all at? Emil is at 10. 10 for Emil. Okay, nine. Chauncey's at five. Yeah, I got a, I got a new mouse in today and I'm still kind of getting used to it. So bear with me as things might <laughs> be a little bit slower than usual. So you said Arcana 9? Yep. And Chauncey was? Five. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. We are not mobile, guys. <laughs> no, yeah, this is not a mobile group. Uh, what's Doug at? 17. Ooh, oh, 17. that's better. Uh, okay, he's, he's fine. His family's in danger. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have. Uh, did you add your mobility to that? Because I see your 17 roll up there. That should be plus your mobility modifier for initiative. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So 19. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. He's fine then. <laughs> yeah. He's he, he's away. Uh, <sighs> what up? I can run just as fast as him. I just don't notice things as quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh... Alright. 
Bear with me while I'm moving super slowly. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Darn mouse. Are <laughs> oh, you good? The mouse said no. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. So, uh, top of the initiative order, uh, Doug, you're up first. What are you doing? I mean, I don't know what's going on right now. Should I just? I mean, I'm just. I was running towards it. I still haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have 30 feet of movement. So you could yeah. you could click and drag your mini. Uh, yeah. 30 30 feet. If you press space bar while you're dragging your mini, it'll actually uh, track how much movement you're using it uh, before gotcha. before placing them down, and also come with a neat little animation for it. There we go. Was that 30 feet? Yes. Okay. Uh, also, you can, um, yeah, you can take the dash action uh, if you want to get uh, to double your movement. So if you're not using your action to attack or do anything else, then you that is an option that's available to you. Well, at this point, you know, I'm going to I'm going to dash then. OK, I'm going to dash. I don't think I would have stopped. Yeah. So I'm basically you can there. make it to the door. All right. Uh, do you I, open the door? Yeah. Is, is that an action? Uh, that's a free action, is opening doors and whatnot. All right, let's do it. Open the door. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> All right, so opening the door, you look into the familiar interior of your cabin, and you see oh, uh, no. what looks to be... I shouldn't be there. Uh, what looks to be <laughs> a bunch of uh, fleshy sort of decayed wild dogs chasing oh after God. a kid that's up here uh, that you recognize as your son <laughs> uh, screaming and crying and your wife over here in this corner uh, also screaming as well as these dogs appear to have broken through a window and the door here up in this corner okay so uh, but if that's all your movement that's all you can do on your turn okay so uh Next up on the initiative order is Emil. All right, I'm going to take the dash to get. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna dash around here. Nope, not there. Whoa! <laughs> you just flew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's sixty feet. That's sixty feet. So you're getting yeah. over onto the to the side of the building. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Is that your turn? That is. Do I say anything? Uh, you would have to get a little bit further up before you do. I'll, I'll show you what's around the side of the building, though, in your immediate surrounding. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind, this is all mostly uh, <sighs> dim to dark lighting. So you you know your yeah your visibility is a little hurt, but I'll go ahead and reveal all of this up here. Okay. I don't see any movement though. Uh. No, you do not. It's outside of what you noticed with your original perception check. Got it. So All I right. saw something. So basically, like out of character, I know this, but I saw them j running around and through the window. Yeah, basically, you saw you saw yeah, and movement kind of like that way. Me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's good. Okay. So, uh, is that Emil's turn? That is. Next up, Arkea. What are you doing? Oh boy. Um. <laughs> she has a cunning plan. Of course, she does. Um. Okay, so she's going to. I assume the dash action works the same for her as everybody else. Uh, yep. Yes. You gain twice yes. your movement, but you have a movement speed of twenty-five, so you'll 25. have fifty feet. Fifty feet. Fifty, 50 feet. feet. The what middle legs. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Umbrella did not equip her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. How? Really? No, 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 no. What is happening here? This is not what I want to happen. Stop it. What's here? There. Lauren? Brad? Yeah. Yeah. What is happening? Can I you don't not know. Move? I can't, like, I can move, but it will only move me five feet at a time when I hold. You have to hit it on each thing? What do you mean? Like,. So Click each, drag. Yeah. And then uh, press space. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Now I'm going to move free. Okay. 
<laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Five. Okay. So, I should have zoomed this out. 25 feet. Okay. That's 25 feet. She's dashing. Mm hmm. Um, so... For some reason, I'm not getting the counter when you guys move, but that's okay. That's a... <laughs> I'm assuming you're being honest with your movement, so. Yeah. Yes. She's gonna get right in front of a meal. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that, makes, a... that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I got it that time. So, yeah. All right. Because I was right behind you, and I saw, and I ended right in front of you. <laughs> yeah. So next up, uh, the woman in the corner up here, after getting her screams out, is going to uh, disappear into this room. And then come back out loading a Glock 17, and that's going to be her action to use the reload uh, on that. Next up, Chauncey. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those dogs rolled garbage. They rolled pretty bad. <laughs> Chauncey these, with the five. Are these windows? Uh, no. These are little uh, dressers, sort of cabinet things there. Um, I mean, there. I think there would be kind of windows in that general vicinity, small ones that you can see, but... Did, uh, Doug, did Doug tell us what's in the house? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, no, okay. but, um, right now, what, uh, what can I tell him since we're, like, engaged? I mean, you're able to speak freely, uh, to a certain extent during combat. No paragraphs. Yeah, no right, paragraphs. I'm sorry, guys. One second. My dog. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There goes the dog again. All right. Chauncey, what are oh, you doing? Oh, man. Not, not the dogs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that work? Yep. That's 30 feet of movement. Yep. Oh, no, I just didn't know if it worked on your end or not. No, yeah, it worked. I got the movement outlined um, for me and everything. I can't really barge it through right, the door back. past him, can I? Um... Let me see. I would say because hmm, because he's an ally, I would say, are you yeah. pretty receptive to letting Chauncey pass you? So I would say, yeah, yeah. you could you could barge past him. I believe there are specific rules for like bypassing another creature's yeah. space, but if they're if you're an ally, I would say we could pretty much ignore those for now. If you're an um, ally and aware of your surroundings, I'm gonna hold. Can I hold my action? Okay, you're holding your action. What are you um, going to hold your action for, to do? As defense. So when somebody gets attacked, I'd like to be able... If I have visual on the target, I'd like to take my action to shoot. But currently, I'm just going to wait here in case. Because I really don't know what's going on currently. I'm just running up behind, but I don't want to waste all my movement. Okay, okay. So, uh... So you're basically waiting for a uh, target. Yeah, waiting for target. Okay, so whenever you see a hostile creature, you're gonna use the attack action. Alright. Yes. So, next up, these dogs are going to take off running. They don't seem to have noticed the, uh... The others in here, you guys outside of the cabin, and they're pretty in focused on attacking those inside. So, uh, th this one over here is gonna go ahead and make an attack against the lady. Ooh, that was nope. Exciting. So he, yeah. So he uh, goes uh, goes ahead and le uh, leaps forward for a bite. Uh, but she dodges out of the way nimbly. Uh, this other one is going to jump the furniture and to attempt to do the same. Oh. <laughs> and I believe that hits. Uh, yeah, that hits. So she takes... Three points of damage, one of which is necrotic. <laughs> so, <laughs> seems like the rolls are on your guys' side tonight. Well, don't say that because. 
Not on mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First roll. And this uh, dog is going to go ahead and go after the kid. And that hits. He takes oh, five points God. of damage, one of which is necrotic. So, you see, uh, Doug, from the doorway, you see these uh, zombified dogs jumping over the furniture and moving across the room towards your family. A couple uh, uh, jump after your wife and son, one of which manages to bite your wife and the other one that manages to bite your son and are currently in the middle of gnawing at them. Uh, next up, uh, well, okay. this one, this one's gonna, <laughs> is gonna move into position, uh, behind the other one. Next up, uh, is back to the top of the round, Tucker. What are you doing? Or rather, that's, tu uh, that's this kid. So he's gonna go ahead and move away. <laughs> Tucker's top of the round. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Baller ass kid. That's a true kid right there. Uh, actually, he's not going to move because of the dogs engaging him. Uh, they are kind of wrestling with him a bit, and he's uh, uh, frozen and afraid to move away. Next up, Doug, what are you doing? Um, can I take aim at the closest dog? To, uh, to my kid. Okay. Yeah, so that would be this one right here. So go ahead. Uh, what are you What are you taking aim with? Um, well, uh, do I have, to, I have to draw a weapon as an action, don't yeah. I? Uh, that's a free action to, to draw. Yeah, okay. Then can I take out my rifle? Okay. So you pull your rifle out. I know it's close, but I want to really make sure I get him. Mm -hmm. Not that close. For the... I think. Actually, I don't know what rifles look like. Yeah. Uh, it's like... So it's usually... It's yeah, it's like usually it's like it's like within only like five feet, but I don't know about a rifle. I think it's like fifty. So yeah, you should have the, the, you have the on the uh, the stat card on it. You have you could look at the range and all that. Yeah, yeah. In your journal. Yeah, I'm trying to find it here. Uh, I believe it's a Remington. Right. Yep, it is. So that is optimal range two hundred to three hundred. Effective <laughs> range ten to three hundred. Yeah, so yep. that means attacks within ten feet. Uh, which essentially in this grid is within two squares, uh, mm -hmm. are at disadvantage. Okay, so I'm, he's within 40, so I'm, I'm in the good yeah, range. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Okay. Good range. So then uh, I roll a d20, mm -hmm. and then I don't have any modifiers for this, right? Well, you add, add your mobility. For, yeah. Mobility. Mobility, mobility okay. and proficiency and, as well. Yeah. Okay, got it. Splash for proficient ball. weapons. Yeah, always... Uh, always add. Oh, Ooh, that was very close. Wow, wow. But yeah, general, <laughs> that was teetering on a natural one. So general uh, rule is if it's um, if it's a proficient weapon, you add your proficiency bonus, and yeah. you add your strength modifier if it's a melee weapon, and a mobility modifier if it's a ranged attack. So yeah, okay. that hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. The damage should be on your weapon as well, adding your mobility modifier to the damage. And just again, that is a D6. Uh, should What's say the... on the weapon stat. Yeah. Uh, stat card. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Sorry. Weapon. I had a uh, quick question also. Uh, when this dog, when this dog right here, here Pat. ran this way, mm -hmm. would that have been in my view? Hmm. I would say it would have been. You would have seen it running across, but uh, with Doug obscuring it in front of you. Okay, that makes sense. That's yeah, fine. I'm not sure if you would count that a clear target to trigger your action. Now, well, I mean, you could, dog, but I would though, say you would have a risk of hitting Doug. This dog, though, mm -hmm. is that considered? Is the door like flung wide open? Like, should I be able to see this dog? Uh. I mean, I suppose the door is open right now, seeing as Doug's taking shots from there. Uh, well, I thought you stepped in front of me before and opened the door. No, because you, you're you, the you're the first one to the you're door. The only, you're the yeah. only one at the house. <laughs> I never I never opened the door then. <laughs> oh, did you not? Oh, I no. guess I, you did. I can. Sh no, yeah, because you said I you did. opened you your door, the door on your first time. That's right. Yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> okay. So it says two uh, D8. So yep. that's what I do, two D8? Okay. Uh, plus your mobility modifier. Yep. To the damage. But if it comes back to my turn, does that burn that held action or no? 17. Okay, 17 points of damage. So you <laughs> seeing uh, that thing going after your kid get enraged and take aim with the <laughs> rifle and fire a shot bolting the round out of the chamber uh this dog's dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right so uh is that going to be your turn you still have your movement you still have don't I get a, bonus action don't i have a th- thing where I can get an extra shot? Is that a bonus action? Uh, you have uh, you have an action surge that you could spend one will point to do. Yeah, can I do that? Okay, are you going to spend a will point to do an action surge? Yes, I want to take another shot. Okay. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and mark I... off a will point. Um, you, By the way, you have... Uh, let me explain to you these right quick, uh, since this is your first time on Roll20. Uh, above your mini... You will see, if you click on your mini, it'll bring up those little orbs. You see above you, you have your hit points is the green, and your will points is the blue. So, uh, just uh, click on the little bubble and hit minus with however many hit points you lose or however many uh, will gotcha. points you use, and it'll just go ahead and subtract it for you. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, you now have an entire additional action that you could use. Okay, I want to now take aim and shoot at the dog closest to my wife. Okay, so that would be this one up here, or the yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, so go ahead and roll for attack again. Okay, let's hope I can uh, make magic strike again. <laughs> Slash oh, hard. by what? the way, you have what's your fighting style again? Uh, uh fighting style is. I believe you took Sniper as your fighting I did, I did, I did, yes. So all of your attack rolls have another plus two on top of them. Okay. Your ranged attack rolls. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so two plus two plus two. Let's go. (laughs) Well, that was the damage. You were supposed to roll a d20 to do the attack first. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Good. Disregard that. (laughs) And does this have my, my, my modifiers as well? Yeah, yeah, so this would be the plus two, plus two, plus two that you add gotcha. to it. Um, for damage, you don't get that. Gotcha. For damage, you just add the ability Ooh. modifier. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, so you fire another shot off with a rifle, but uh, manage the, the dog is moving quickly, and you're trying to avert hitting your wife, and you hit uh, the floorboards below and bolt okay. the round out. So that's the end of my actions. Okay, you still have movement if you want to use it. Also, make sure um, you're not... Uh, Marking off your ammo. Yes, mark yeah. off your ammo as well. Yeah. Um. Okay. How much does this hold again? Uh. uh it should say on the stack card. Hold. Yeah. Capacity its, four. Yeah, yeah. All of its information should be on the stack yep. card. All right. So um, is that uh, is that Doug's turn? Are you gonna move? Are you gonna do anything else? Uh, I kind of want to get out of the way of the door. Can I just like step into the door? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. You could. You could step in. You have thirty feet of movement, so you could do quite a bit. Yeah. I just want to step into the door, like, to the left, like, right here. Okay, just so I'm yeah. kind of out of the way. Yeah, you could do that. All right. And you end your turn. Quick yep. question. With my held action, am I only allowed yeah. to do what I specified? Yes. Okay. And so, like, it burns if it comes back to me, right? Yes, it does. Away. But okay. I would say now that he's moved, you... Let me see what your line of sight looks like. Nothing. Mm, no, I yeah. Can't shoot through anything. Yeah. He killed you the can... dog that I had a shot at. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you can shoot the kid if you want. <laughs> hey, everyone's got to do it once. Yeah, we're going to do it once. I have a feeling that's how this encounter is going to end anyway. <laughs> I'm cool with the burn. It's cool. Okay. So, uh, next up is Emil. All right, do I? Uh, can I jump up there? Uh, yeah, I would say I would say it'll take up Half double movement, movement because of say, climbing. Yeah, yeah. But you could make a athletics check to attempt a vault to do it without reducing your movement. 
Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Any roll scares me to death. All right, I would say that's good enough. You managed to get over without incurring any uh, deficit to your movement. Now I'm going to move there for the, for the last of my Okay, uh, so you movement. run in. Yeah, you've heard and, the gunshot before, and running yeah. in, you recognize these yeah. zombie dogs. So, so seeing that there was nothing moving out here, I assume that it's already all inside the house. I hear the shot go off. I come in, and I see a bunch of dogs and a kid. I'm like, dogs! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna shoot this one over here all right go ahead and roll for with, attack with your glock yes uh the glock only has one shot i believe still so. yeah, yeah fire rate's only one yeah, yeah. all right i'm taking uh, i'm taking a shot all right go ahead and roll for attack okay so that is a 17. Uh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. Go ahead and roll for damage. <coughs> <laughs> right, no, no mobility. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... Um, yeah. So, yeah, you pop a shot at that dog, and uh, you manage to hit it, and it recoils a bit, but uh, it doesn't seem to have hurt it too much. All right. Uh, that will... I can't do any... I can't do any crafts because those are all actions, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Crafting takes a little bit of time. All right, that is that is all I can do. Okay, that is the end of Emil's turn. Uh, it is currently Arkea's turn. Arkea has cunning plan, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's, uh, is there any windows on the side of the cabin that she can see? Uh, there are the windows here that got broken okay. and shattered by the uh, Cerberus. It's a good deal off the oh, ground though. Windows. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know is that. It, mm, oh. Is there, is there just the just the window that um the dog broke through? Uh. What do you mean? Is is, is that the only window on the side of the, the cabin that's there? On this the side, yeah. The dog broke through. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, all right. She's gonna run up to the window. Okay. Which is here, you said? Uh, yeah, thereabouts. Okay, uh, she is going to... Can she put her hands, like... I don't know how Arkea feels about putting them by broken glass, but... <laughs> um, like, on the sill? Or is she too short? Um... How I would have to make you climb for it. Uh, that would be... In... For it, That'd be an athletics check, and you uh, will be incurring damage from the broken glass. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Liming is what? Mobility? Athletics. Uh, I'll be oh, an athletics check. Oh, boy. Uh, guys, this could go either really good or really bad. We're going to find out. I have a feeling it's going to end with someone's neck impaled on the uh <laughs> the broken glass no Whoop! that's okay that's good that's, that's okay, okay. <laughs> yeah i would say you yeah you managed to climb up there uh but you do take uh one point of slashing damage okay. <laughs> from uh wanna, the broken glass she doesn't want to climb in the window like in onto the floor uh-huh she just wants to like be there in the window. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll, I'll I'll let it happen. I mean, you're just sort of doing like a muscle up onto like yeah, putting your yeah, head in the window. <laughs> like a pull up. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's gonna start yelling, like trying to get the attention. Oh, of okay. The dogs. That's really that's a good idea, actually. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe no one thought of that yet. Yeah. So. Uh, what do you? What do, do you? Too. What she's are you yelling, like, uh, particularly at them? Uh, she's just yelling, making noises. Like, just making loud noises. Go ahead and make, yeah. uh, <laughs> make an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> um, hey, stupid dogs, over here! <laughs> <laughs> intimidation check. Okay, sure. I got this. That's actually something I'm good at. 
Yeah, like like of all people here, I think she would be the one to be, like to pull that off. Um. Okay, so that's charisma, which is three. I'm not proficient in it, unfortunately. Uh. All right. Three. Okay, so bear with me a sec stream because I took the map off for a sec because I've actually got to do something a little jank here. Uh oh. Ooh. Bleh. Ooh. Gross. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> was that your intimidation check? Yeah. Okay, so you start uh, yelling and making all sorts of noises. Uh, the, um, the dogs, hold on actually, while well, I'm in the middle of all my jankness. <laughs> oh my god, I'm being attacked by a vicious hellhound. <laughs> yes. Uh, Pretty much. Isn't that right, bud? You're a little hellhound. Oh, oh, you're getting attacked yeah. by hellhound. Okay, so, <laughs> um... It's horrifying. The For the most part, the dogs uh, seem to ignore you, but this one right here seems to turn its head a little bit. Okay. Uh, Can you flip the icon around? <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> just like, like flip. He, it was a, like, whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except in that now it's yeah, facing so, towards you. So there we go. Oh, hey, you had to look away so that way you can look back. It's about exactly. to emerge. Yeah. All right. Oh, wonderful. Uh, is he just like looking at me? He's not like making any like movements or anything like that. Uh, you'll find out on its turn. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, well. With that, she's gonna make a. She's going to burn, uh, an inspiration. Okay, as a bonus, bonus action. action. Yeah, you're gonna use encouragement. Uh, uh, yeah, she's going to. Well, wait a minute. Um, God, I wish I would have wrote down, uh, what these things do. Um, hold on. Uh, how far is? Let me see. The kid from me. Uh. Well, it's easy to find out. Oop. Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> 20, 20 feet. feet. Perfect. Yes. Um, yes. I was going to do that, and then you did it. Uh, she's going to motivate the chat. Motivate. Encourage. Encourage, or, yeah. Oh, you're going to use encourage or motivation? Encourage. Okay, so you're going to give him encouragement. How do you encourage this kid? Run! <laughs> <laughs> exclamation right. point, exclamation point, exclamation point. All right, so he is now, he, uh, yeah, mark off one of your support dice, which he can now add to one of his d20 rolls. All right, is that Arkea's turn? Yes. So, uh, are you guys ready for something jank? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> the word's so, jank. First of all, uh, you hear another crash as all of a sudden you notice off to the side uh, these oh. not ready yet minis uh, <laughs> crashing through the window. <laughs> that's, that's a little jank. <laughs> well, like, what are they? I'm, those are monkeys. Uh, Yo, we're, we're oh, what the <laughs> I believe the I believe their official name is Jank. <laughs> it's Jank, yes. What about Jank? I do believe that is their official name. Jank. Jank you see <laughs> this handful, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the name is for uh, a group of monkeys, but this plurality of monkeys diving <laughs> through the window with their teeth bared, snarling, and just salivating, foaming at the mouth. Uh, so they managed to get in here uh, during their turn from the wilderness, so I'm going to say that took all of their movement and uh, dashing. Next up is, uh, well, next up is Stacy. She's going question. to- Quick question. Yeah. It, how, how big are the windows? Uh, about yay big? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, they're, uh, uh are they five, what are you looking are they five, for? Are they five blocks or are they five, five feet? One yeah, block. I would say, I would say they're five feet by 10 feet. So like about- Where is is this it, one the window? Uh, right there? Yes. Would these two incur a tax opportunity from the girl? By the way, it is a troop of monkeys. A troop oh, of there monkeys. Go. There you go. <laughs> attack on Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, attack on Jenkins. Yeah, the one the one thing that got voted for, I, did, I hadn't prepared a mini for. <laughs> I realized. <laughs> so, like uh, 
So I literally just downloaded that during the stream. <laughs> so <laughs> I, fi I figured. Um, I would say no. They would. They 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 were able to. Like I said, it's a uh, five by ten foot window, so they would have come in through this. Oh, okay, side. five by ten. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I was, I was wondering because if it was five foot, then they would have all been going in through here. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, it, if, it, if it's big enough for them to come in, then damn. <laughs> <laughs> then damn. All right. So um, I have a question. Is there any windows on this front wall here at all? Um, I would. I, I did specify earlier that there was probably small ones above, like these dressers that you're able to see through. The problem is these creatures are considered small in size. Oh, okay, okay. Then, uh, like, I so they're probably see them below through the window. Oh. You probably saw them hop through the window because they would have had to jump to do that. So yeah, I'll let you take a shot on one of these monkeys. Oh yes, I'm gonna I'm 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 send two bullets downrange on this mo this mo <laughs> monkey right here. <laughs> All right, send two downrange. Go ahead and roll for attack with your M9. Yep, getting all my proficiency set up first. Give me a sec. Uh -huh. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work out in my favor. You said uh, mobility check. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, attack roll. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's still mobility. Yeah, yeah. It uses mobility plus your proficiency. Then my proficiency. Wow. Yeah. 13. Uh, stat blocks, where are you? Um. <laughs> that hits. Go ahead and roll yeah. for damage. Ooh. So you, so in this, in you with your split second instincts, uh, honed from being a police uh, detective and a former army, a former army man, you manage to just take a, two shots at the monkey as it comes crashing through the window in that brief moment. So you just quickly double tap poof, through the window. Probably heard one going through and then shot the one right afterwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I have nothing set up for my AR yet. So is that just my proficiency? And Oh, were you were you using your AR? I was picturing your M9. Uh, yeah, you did no, say no, you had no, your no, AR, AR drawn. That's correct. Um, so uh, did, did I have the? Do you have the stat block for that? The stat card? Yeah, I, I have the card. It's it's the one d eight piercing, which uh -huh. I'm going to use bleed. You can't because uh, uh, it's not uh, uh edged weapon. Oh uh, uh, oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, but that's my proficiency modifier goes on top of that too, because it's my weapon during my uh, mobility. Attack, right? Mobility modifier goes on the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's what I. I couldn't remember whether I. Oh. Well, you said you were taking two shots, didn't you? That was the. That was the one bullet. And now yeah. I removed the one because I should have yeah, rolled yeah. two at one time. So. And that's the other bullet. All right. So. <laughs> What's the uh, total? Uh, ten. All right, so you fire two shots that go psh, psh, splattering uh, its blood across the windows as it crashes through. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, you you can't much tell the condition of it following that because it went immediately to the ground. But you know you uh, placed some shots on it. I tagged it. All right, we're good. That's piercing, <laughs> yes, right? I didn't burn it. The piercing, yes. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> guys, announce yeah, yeah. your totals and announce your damage types. Uh, so, because I'm keeping track of a lot during combat, and it definitely helps, and can sometimes be pretty important. Uh, Alright, so, next up is uh, Woman is going to take a turn. <laughs> I accidentally gave you the two these, the, gave you these yeah. two names before, before um, yeah. it was time, but nonetheless, uh, she is feeling a little bit cornered, and can't really do much about that without incurring an attack of opportunity. Uh, she's actually... Hmm. She doesn't have like a dodge feature? No, she does not. Dodge, dodge into that doorway again. Just stay dodge in into there. the doorway. Leave the kid for dead. Nope. Uh, she's just gonna. I th Bible of the fastest. Yeah, she's probably gonna start uh, shooting down at these dogs in front of her, which will be with disadvantage because they're at close range. Uh,. So yeah, it's going to be with disadvantage. Nice. Oh. All right. So she fires the shot with her Glock and uh, hit, kicks up dust from the floorboards and doesn't hit anything. And she is just going to 
Stay right there. Uh, next up, Chauncey. Yeah, I was thinking the whole situation could have been avoided if I'd used my situational awareness. I could have seen the dogs earlier. You, you actually could have. <laughs> I didn't even think about it until I'm reading through my adrenaline rush because that's probably what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move in to the house. Okay. If I can. There we go. 30 feet of movement. Boop. We'll go over here. Right? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. You run in right. and you see now this room with uh, six hostiles to choose from. <laughs> six. Now, can I visually see that monkey that I messed up earlier? How bad is he looking? He looks fairly rough. Okay, okay. You grazed him right. pretty uh, good. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and oh, this guy adrenaline right rush. <laughs> All right, yeah, you yeah. enter an adrenaline rush. That's a bonus action. What are you doing? I Not that you're hyped. Going to, I am going to start shooting this place up. <laughs> <laughs> so you charge in with your AR-15. And by this point, uh, the two individuals in the cabin have acknowledged you guys and are looking your way. First, they only saw Doug, and they were uh, relieved and expectant of him. But now everybody else is charging in, and they're just like... In the franticness of the situation, quite confused. A girl's head pops into out of the window. <laughs> hey, hey, dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, dog, you're an idiot. <laughs> like what? What's going on? I have, I have a huge question. If huge shoot, question. If I shoot two bullets, can I pick two different targets or no? No, you have to use two different okay. attacks, but you do have two attacks thanks to your adrenaline rush. So. That's, uh, I was curious if I could just spray one bullet per creature. No, you cannot. I'm hit. Okay. Um, she attacked this dog earlier, right? Uh, I put some damage on this here. one. This one. This one's been attacked by by her earlier, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, but she didn't hit but, it. I oh, think. okay, okay. I, I put damage oh, on that cool. one. Yeah, well, that one's being alerted. Um, <laughs> the damage on that one. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna spray and pray. Um, this monkey here, if it let me, it's not letting me do my bleep bloop. Oh no, why isn't it letting you do your bleep bloop? <laughs> Are you on the wrong tool? That was probably, yeah. You have to hit the arrow at the top left, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, okay. on the arrow. Hmm. Huh. Can... That one, <laughs> yeah. All right, but no, no, no. Here we go. No, it's not let me. There we go. This one. Uh huh. And this dog. Okay. Are gonna be my two, are gonna be my two targets. But All I'm right. gonna shoot at the monkey first. Alright, go ahead and roll for attack. Wow. Ugh. That is a twelve. That just hits. Uh these yeah. are spry little monkeys. Go ahead and roll your damage. You said two shots? Two shots. Okay. Oh, I always shoot full full bore. So. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I'll assume if you don't specify then, then you're <laughs> yeah, yeah. full shot. I, I should always specify, but yes. Yeah. I shoot full. Alright, thirteen nice. points of damage. So you put another two rounds uh down into this eliminator with your AR. Uh, you see two spurts of blood impact it as it stains the wood panels below. It looks to have been pretty messed up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my other shoot the dog now. Alright. That hits. Nice. Go ahead and roll damage. So you put in another two shots towards the dog just to the right of it. Uh wow. Ish. Alright. So your damage is <laughs> five. Five piercing. Alright. All those. Alright, so uh yeah, so you put a couple of rounds into the dog as well. It yelps as it uh, as they pierce into it. Is that going to be Chauncey's turn? Um, I think that's all I can do at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's it for me. All righty. So next up, the dogs are going to take their turn. And, um, hmm. Okay, so this one here is going to dive out the window. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it dives out the window easily enough, avoiding the glass uh, on the inside of the shattered uh, window frame, and it lands out there next to Arkea. It's going to go ahead and attempt to bite her. Of course 
That's a 14 to hit. And I believe that hit. All right. And that does hit. Uh, you take six points of damage, two of which is necrotic. Okay. And yeah. this, uh, so this dog, having just been, uh, shot, is going to dash uh, across the room at its assailant. Uh, uh, the woman gets a opportunity attack. Uh, yeah. Because it is leaving her reach, she's just gonna go ahead and try and kick it. Uh, she <laughs> kick it. doesn't have any Bad proficiencies dog. for that, so <laughs> it's just gonna be straight up unarmed attack. Nope. All right, so she sw- swings and misses as it runs away um, and enters the midst of you guys. And this one actually is also going to follow suit. She's gonna attempt to kick uh, kick that one as well. Does she only get one reaction, though? Yeah, oh, right, that's true, that's true, reaction. that's true. I forgot, reaction. Uh, so, yeah, so the these dogs are now all over here. Uh, the, the one's going to, that got shot is going to take an attack at, uh, attempt to take an attack at Chauncey. Bring it. That's a 13 nope. to hit. All right, so it bites at you, and you uh, just sort of dodge out of the way narrowly as its jaws come at you. The other one is going to uh, jump at Doug. That's a 16 to hit. What's your armor class, Doug? Um, zero. What? <laughs> It's ten plus your mobility. Should, if you're yeah. if you're not wearing any armor, it should be ten plus your mobility modifier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so twelve. Okay, twelve. Uh, so that hits. You take. Uh, you suffer six <laughs> points of damage, uh, four okay. of which or five of which which is piercing, one of which is necrotic. Okay, so I'm at nine. I'm at eleven. Sorry. Yeah. Hit current hit points. Okay. And you can mark it off on your uh, green health bar on the the mini. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, and you can just do minus da- the damage. Gotcha. Uh, so top of the round. Uh, this kid is going to run over to his mommy and. Uh, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. <laughs> and just sort of, actually, he's going to get by her into the into the room, kind of oh, never mind. sticking behind her. I was gonna, I was gonna yell at him to go in one of these doors, but <laughs> that works too. <laughs> um, no attack I, of opportunity. Yeah, the, the monkey, monkey gets uh, an attack of opportunity. No. I was just about to get to that. Oh, sorry. This is terrible. <laughs> there. Oh, oh no! All right, it's gonna slash at him with its claws. That oh, definitely oh, hits. That kid's dead. <laughs> the <laughs> kid takes. Four points of slashing damage as it claws at his legs as he's running by. Uh, he it, it tears at his uh, shorts and he uh, <laughs> he's looking pretty rough. <laughs> but he it's, does many, barely manage to get into that room. I feel like this is not going to end well for the <laughs> dog and family. Well, welcome to our lives. All right. We're professional. I didn't know. We got, is it, by the way, is that an outhouse? Yeah, there's an outhouse out here. Okay. <laughs> uh, top of the round. Uh, rather, that was the top of the that round. Next up is Doug. All right. Um, You're currently flanked. Yeah. On all sides. I'm trying to think of which one is the best one to go after. Can I take out my Glock? Uh, to holster a weapon is a free action. To draw again oh. after that would require an action. Uh, okay, well then I'm just gonna have to take a shot at with my rifle at close range. Okay, so you'll be rolling at disadvantage. Yeah. So when you make your attack roll, roll twice, take the lower of the two. Yep. How do I do? Is up right? Yeah. There pre- we go. Yeah. If the chat's blank, just press up. It'll do your last. Okay. Twenty-one. Good thing you got all these darn bonuses. 11. Which one was this against? 
Uh, uh, this uh, uh, the one to my to my uh, to your right or to my right? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, so they so that's a- eleven to hit. That does not hit. So you turn your rifle on it and fire, and uh, it manages to jump out of the way as ah. it's engaging with Chauncey. Yeah, to sort of more sword towards uh, Emil's direction. Can I take another action? You could spend another will point to do another action surge, yeah. I kind of want to, like, push it out the door since it's in front of the door. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, that's a bad idea. She's out there. Okay. <laughs> You're killing me here. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another shot. Okay, so you're spending a will point. Yeah. All right. I only have one bullet left too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then you and need to. God. Yeah. I mean, if you hit it, it's like it'll, it'll I don't, die again, I don't hopefully. have any other ammo. This just has four rounds that came in it. Oh. I imagine you'd have like a stash here, though. Oh yeah, I know, but that's not gonna help me <laughs> in like the immediate. <laughs> um. All right, All right, so I want to take another shot at that dog with if, yeah. disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage because it's well, so close. Let me see something. I'm just thinking of something I can maybe hit. So these are this this one's at ten feet away. The monkey yeah. on the bottom left. I'm just trying to get as many like enemies out of the room as possible. Actually, you know what I mean? hold on. Let me see. I don't think we're using the right calculation. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, hold on. Try measuring to the furthest monkey again. Okay, feet. so that's actually 15 feet away. Yeah. Um, and then, th- and this one in the bottom left is 10 feet. Yeah. So if they're with, if they're 10 feet or less, then you would still be at disadvantage with that rifle according so, to its uh, effective range. So the so only I'm thing you would have disadvantage on. One. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no disadvantage on this one. Go ahead and roll. For I just want to try to like clear out the room a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, you fire your final round with the rifle and the it goes right over the monkey's head and puts a hole in the wall behind it. Can I holster my my rifle as an yep. action or am I As a free okay. action you could do that. Uh yep. and then on your next turn you could draw your handgun as a free action as well. Perfect. All right. So, that's Doug's turn unless you want to use any movement, but you will incur attack of opportunities from some of the dogs, if Everything. potentially, if you do, yeah. I don't really have anywhere to go. Yeah, so that if that is the end of Doug's turn, next up, okay. Emil. Ah, oh, there's a dog here now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a dog here now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stab the hell out of this dog. All right, you pulling out your knife? <laughs> I don't have my knife out already. I uh, know you had your Glock, didn't you? I have both. I have them both out. Okay. So you're doing two weapon fighting here. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I think we fi- I think we figured out how that works already and I forgot how that works. So I have <laughs> I know I, I know that it's light so I can have them both out. Yeah, if they're both light then you it, could use them I can both. shoot and then stab as a bonus, right? Yeah, you could use your offhand as a bonus action attack. That's what okay. So I'm shooting this guy. And then I'm going to stab this guy. <laughs> okay, sounds That's like nice. a plan. Go Actually. And... <laughs> Actually. Oh. Um. Nope. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll for attack. Is this the first one against the dog? Yes. At range. All right. That nice. hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. Nice. <laughs> All right. That five points. Here. Uh. Okay, so, all right. So five points of piercing damage to that That dog directly above Doug. Uh, Yeah, so you fire your shot off and hit it. It yelps again as it staggers. This one's looking particularly rough. All right, it is now. So, Hmm. uh, we need to kill things. Can I jump on this couch? I will. You know what? I'll say you can. Uh, it'll take it'll take some of your movement, but yeah, I would That's say you could fine. you could easily get up on that couch on the furnishing. And are you going to attempt to stab <laughs> that one? <laughs> so you're gonna jump over and come down with that pocket knife of I'm, yours. It's it's it's, it's full shock and awe technique. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll gonna, your melee gonna, attack. It's, it's, <laughs> okay, this is um, gonna be much better. 
Yeah, because the meal's quite strong. Especially when I'm doing the shotgun awe technique. All right, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Do not add your strength modifier because it's an offhand attack. Damn. <laughs> okay. All right. So what? What is the damage on? Is okay. It's just the d6. So it's the, it's the exact same thing that you did with your Glock and damage. It's the Got same it. thing. <laughs> All right. So I was okay. That's fine. That's fine. What is that? That's two. That's three. Uh, three piercing. All I'm right. Down to the so you come down and stab it, almost uh, uh, pinning it against the floor as you do. This thing is on its last legs, but it's still holding in there. Dog. <laughs> uh, that's all I can do. All right, Arkea, you're up. I just picture. Sorry. What are you doing? I just picture her going. Help! 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 help. <laughs> She needs, she needs to start kneecapping real quick. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, as she, she's actually going to do that. She's, help, help, help. But she's also going to take out her baton. And she's <laughs> going to wreck this dog in the face. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and attempt to wreck this dog. Roll for an attack. <laughs> See, I'm kind of hoping now that we're level three, we can take on a dog. <laughs> I hope so. See, the, yeah, the, this is this is your chance for revenge. These guys wrecked you in the first episode. I know. I'm sure it's the yeah. same dogs. <laughs> uh, I'm 100% sure these are the exact same dogs. Yeah, that's true. Some of them got away. <laughs> that, that's why I'm so mad. Because <laughs> <laughs> right, so these dogs killed us in the first episode. Yeah, practically. All right, so that's a 20 to hit. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Am I the only one that's, like, killed a dog yet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did miss three times though, so I can't be too cocky. It's true. I've, I've done, been doing I've done damage to almost everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've done I've done a steady two damage every time. <laughs> All right. I'm the only one picking on the movie. And that's seven Sides. bludgeoning. Seven okay. bludgeoning. Does, uh, does Arcane not have any strength? She. Wait a minute. She might actually. Because <laughs> if, so, you might roll. if so, you might roll. If so. If so, you've been rolling wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, uh, let's see here. No, she doesn't. Okay. Okay. It's mobility. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so just seven straight up seven points of bludgeoning yep. as you whack your <laughs> extendable baton across this dog's face. <laughs> I'm assuming it's not happy. <laughs> it is not happy in the slightest. It is growling and snarling at you. Oh, I bet it is. All right. Help, help, so I could, have, I could have sworn she did strength damage before. Anyways, I could have sworn she did too. That's yeah. why I'm very confused. But I guess you might have been rolling wrong before then. It could have been. All right. Because mm -hmm. I suddenly remembered she was a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that Wait your a turn? minute. I shouldn't be hitting this hard. <laughs> Dreaming it. Oh. Uh. She's at. Hmm. Can't really. She can, however, use her bonus action to discourage the thing in front of her. Alright, are you gonna discourage this dog? How do you discourage it? You're a stupid dog! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> exactly! Alright, I believe it has to make a wisdom saving throw? Uh, yes. Alright. Yes. Three! Oh. <laughs> yes. oh, that's a dumb dog. It's an, unw it's an unwise dog for sure right now. This this dog can't roll for Jack. I had to make a wisdom saving throw to... I had them all make wisdom saving throws to get distracted before, and he was literally the only one that failed. Nice. So, and with a natural one, no less. And now he's failing his wisdom saves again. So, yeah, he, uh, he appears very disheartened uh, as far as zombie dogs go. Yeah, yeah. His ears go down. <laughs> Tucks his tail. Yeah. It just got a whack. It's like, oh. <laughs> All right. Is that Arcaeus' turn? Uh, you know the, yeah. You know what the right. one thing I've always wondered about the Hellhounds in Resident Evil? Huh. How many people own Dobermans? <laughs> Literally all of them. Well, that's yeah, I, well it's, it's, that's the thing. Like, it's like, that's the difference between, because there's like the zombie dogs, which are infected by accident and then yeah, the dobermans right. are the cerberus which were made in a lab that's so true. they were like breeding yeah, dobermans because yeah, yeah. i i think these are would like even though the minis say otherwise these would be like wolves right yeah yeah these are basically like wild wolves and stuff yeah. like that yeah. 
it did have to be one like corgi running around. <laughs> There's a Pomeranian just going. Arr! Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. Statistically, right. there have to be. So, next up, the uh, eliminators are going to take their round, and this one's going to take a claw at the Thank woman, uh, and it misses, uh, as she is just dodging and weaving in that corner. The other two are going to start monkeying around. Uh, this one's <laughs> gonna. This one's gonna move here. Oh my god, I'm screwed. <laughs> and uh, they actually have pack tactics, so they're gonna attack you with advantage. Uh, oh, the man, two of them finally coming up against pack tactics. I've been wondering what pack tactics was like. <laughs> so that's a 14 to hit on the first one. They're coming at you with their claws. This is me. Yeah. Oh, What's okay, your armor class? Uh, tw- uh, twelve. Yeah. So that first one it hits. You take three points of slashing cool, damage yeah. as it claws at you and cuts you. Uh, the other one's going to make its attack with disadvantage as well, or rather with advantage. Oh my god! Uh, did again, you roll the a four. Thing? Yeah, I rolled the exact yeah. same thing for both of them. <laughs> four rolls. That's, that's two- pack tactics for you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So that hits again then, since he rolled the same thing. Uh, you take another two points oh, of slashing damage. Uh, they have, too bad, too bad. they're working as a group, but <laughs> not too well. So, uh, well, I, I mean, I don't know, I'm almost dead. By the way, what's, you? your, what's your health in? Six. Is it in, is it in caution or danger or? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in danger. Okay, okay. No. that's good to know, that's good to know. That's good, yeah. So we'll put, I'll put that red dot on there for you for you to remember, or for uh, all of us to remember. So you have two points of fatigue, which... Yeah, uh, I have 11 as caution and six as danger. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. So you have disadvantage on mobility checks and saving throws, and your movement speed is halved. Yeah, and you have two fatigue uh, Point. points. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's like, what, fatigue moves? <laughs> <laughs> so Like, uh, pass out? Yes, actually. <laughs> if, yeah, if, it gets, if it gets high enough, you will eventually pass out. But it's, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, the fatigue is just off of, just off of injury. You can't get that bad. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, you have to like be in a desert. Yeah, the w- <laughs> woman's gonna move out uh, here to the side and start taking shots with her Glock towards the monkeys that are assailing Doug. Uh, she's going to go ahead and take a shot with. Uh, the Glock towards this one just below oh, her, and she hits. Oh, that, that bounced. It was a it one, did. and then it bounced back. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Monkey down here takes five points of piercing damage as she fires and hits in its back. That's time. He is looking <laughs> extremely rough. Uh, oh, I should have. Mm. And uh, that is going to be her turn. Uh, she told her to finish off the dog. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know. Uh, next up, Chauncey. Finish off the dog! <laughs> um, I kind of want to get rid of the pack. All right. How are you going to thin the pack? Um, we, need this, no, we need to get rid of like numbers right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the pack attacks twice. Yeah, well, they, but the a live dog is gonna attack regardless of how much health it has. Yeah, but a, 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 a pack of monkeys is gonna attack. <laughs> <laughs> Invasion of the pack of monkeys. Uh, troops, sorry. Like um, can, I, can I climb up on that table? <laughs> Everyone's climbing on furniture, but yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, I'm gonna climb up on the table and then I'm gonna start shooting some monkeys. All right. I'm still by adrenaline rush. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, you've been attacking, yeah, gonna, so you keep it. We're going to shoot this monkey. Hey, there we go. This monkey and this monkey. All right. My two, two attacks. It's almost like first a two attack. Two attacks. First, <laughs> first attack on this monkey. All right. Is this with your AR still? Yes. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, I forgot to subtract those other two bullets. Yeah, yeah, make sure you're marking off your rounds. I, I did. I did the first one. I forgot to do the second one. Mm-hmm. All right. And there you go. <laughs> oh, that was almost a natural 20. Uh, so first attack misses the uh, monkey as it dodges narrowly out of the way. You're firing. It's such a small target, even at this range, that you're just sort of kicking and uh, uh, shooting kind of all around it. 
Okay, other monkey is not gonna get attacked. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a natural twenty. Go ahead and roll crit damage. That's double damage, right? Yeah, so double the double dice. dice, double all the yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, what's up with the ones? <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter, doesn't though, matter. because he takes a, you take aim, you put two rounds into its skull with your AR and put that monkey down for good. Pretty sure that monkey exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Reload's an action, right? Reload is an action, but you're I a shooter. A you're a shooter. Oh, yeah, I'm shooter. shooter. Which means yeah. you can reload as a bonus action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> All right, like, you reload badly. your AR. So you, yeah, you, Chauncey takes out the mag and puts in a new one. That's 10 rounds, okay. All right, is that your turn? Uh, no. No. I'm just, let me quickly mark down the, all my ammo, ammo real fast. All right. We are going to move over here okay you're keeping in range with the dog too so you don't incur any opportunity attacks actually i should have gotten an attack of opportunity from the dog right here which one because there. i will I, this dog down here at the door oh yeah because right you moved here. yeah you moved up to the yeah. uh the 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 table i forgot about that. that yeah yeah i'll go ahead and roll that right quick Nope. No. <laughs> you got away scot free. That's why you didn't okay, notice cool. it. <laughs> I was too concentrated. He was just trying to bite me. <laughs> All right. Next up, the dogs are going to turn on the, the um, grandstanding man on the couch, and uh, they're going to start attempting to bite at you with pack tactics advantage. That's why. Oh. Dogs are packed too. That hits. <laughs> yep. Damn it. All right, sixteen. <laughs> that hits. All right, so uh, from the first attack, you take five points of damage, one of which is necrotic. That's fine. From the second dog, that's fifteen to hit. Yes. All right, you take another. Four points of damage, one of which is necrotic. Yeah. As they both yep. start biting and tearing into you at your legs. You I'm are... Alright, you're in danger. Give us your red dot. And yeah, you are bleeding from the thighs at this point. As the uh, as the dogs tear at your trousers. Alright. Uh, and also, the one outside is going to continue dueling with Archaea. I, I figured... With disadvantage because it's very sad. <laughs> it's a sad dog. It, is, sad. it lost its pack <laughs> and, it's, and it's just sad. it's just been insulted all day. Yeah. So this dog it is a, it attempts to bite at you, but it, it just just ends up sort of slobbering onto your coat. And his, just heart's like, nah, nah, nah. his heart's not in it. Yeah. Yeah. His heart's <laughs> not in it. So, all right. So. Back to the top of the round. Uh, uh, let's see. So, uh, the lady is going to... Uh, she's going to take a shot at one of the dogs. She's going to go ahead and take a shot at one of the dogs. I did yell out to uh, shoot at that dog. Yes, you did call that out. Because you saw that it was looking very rough. Yes. And we need to get rid of enemies. All right, so that's oh, a 15. Please. She shoots the dog. <laughs> yes. And deals... Oop. Don't know what that is. Go deals oops damage? D oops damage, yeah. It takes three points of da piercing damage as she fires off another round with the Glock. Uh, nope, yeah, that dog's dead. <laughs> as <Yep>. she <laughs> fires it, it impacts the side of the dog. It yelps, it goes to the ground, attempts to pick itself back up, but... Uh, just slumps over lifeless. Good. Alright. Uh, next up. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if she's going to move. 
No, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna stay put. Uh, next up is rather. I think I did that slightly out of order, but next up should be Doug. Okay. I am going to shoot. At, how do you do the bloop thing? The bloop. Oh, that's the click and hold with the. Yeah, arrow. left mouse click and hold. I'm going to shoot at uh, left mouse click and hold. Oh, there you go. Yay. I'm going to shoot at that guy, but okay. um, I'm going to draw my Glock. All right. It's still at disadvantage because he's within reach of you, so. Okay. Actually, yeah. Yes, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the monkey. Okay. So you. So you're that, you're my one action one? was pulling my gun, and then do I have to use a will point? To no, no, shoot? no. That's a that's a free action to draw. Oh, that's right. Okay. So yeah, so that, you could you could still shoot. So overall, I'm at. Plus two, minus two, right? For what? If I was at plus two, plus two, plus two, now I'm at plus two, minus two, right? For like, I'm basically at, at zero again for because of my fatigue. No, 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 no. That doesn't affect your bonuses. I'm getting echo from somebody, but uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So your bonuses are still the same. Gotcha. Uh, it's just that you have half movement and disadvantage on mobility checks and saving throws. Gotcha. There is an echo. Yeah, Rip. there is an echo. I'm getting that. It's coming from uh, from Doug. <laughs> is, it is that better? <laughs> uh, I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> is that better? Uh, uh, let's, find let's find out. No, I still hear no. myself. <laughs> That's weird. Some sort of feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. It's only you. Yeah, it's, that's the weird part, is it's only me. Is it? Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see something. In the actual... Is that better? Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. still hear myself. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird how it's anything. only me. Yeah. Yeah, only yeah, I, I makes no sense. Anything. All right, yeah, that's all right. We could, we, could, we, could, yeah. we could power through this. Go ahead and roll yeah. your attack with right. disadvantage. You've had worse. 22 Ooh, boy. with disadvantage so roll again and take the lower of the yeah, two right. because he's within your melee reach oh, okay. boy. that Not still bad. hits oh, because boy. you are a good shooter uh god. so thank god i think you're the only person in the party who's a good shooter <laughs> uh, well that's kind of like my only reason for existing <laughs> <laughs> uh, so more time on the range yeah yeah go ahead and roll for damage with your glock okay and this is just plus your mobility modifier Yep. 1d6 piercing plus my mobility modifier. Okay. D6. Six. Oops. One. Six plus two. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you fire, <laughs> just barely managed to hit this monkey in close range, and fire. <laughs> Spatter, splatter monkey guts all over Chauncey behind it, and yeah. the thing slumps to the floor dead. We do oh, so that much killed damage. It? Yeah. It was, it was holding on by a thread. Yeah. My shirt. Chauncey shot it up <laughs> a little bit last, a couple rounds ago. Yeah. I, I've been losing track of the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe that other one is either, either got hit once or is like at full. Yeah. All right. Is that Doug's third? Uh, hey, I don't hear myself. You know what? <laughs> Doug's, Doug's feeling lucky. Oh boy! <laughs> so, since this might be Doug's last stand, and his kids and wife are here, he's gonna use all the. Will <laughs> and oh. I'm, I'm gonna shoot. At... You're gonna use another will point, you said. Yes, and I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna go try to hit this dog. All, all right, that's right. gonna be that's gonna be disadvantage again. But yeah, you could do it with well, an action actually, search. Group group thought here. Should I shoot at this guy instead? No. Just <laughs> I mean, you won't you won't have disadvantage. I know. That's I'll, what I thought. You, you, you could get wrecked by that dog. I'll say that you should probably get rid of the dog. Okay. All right. So I'm going to roll for the dog. Let's see here. Oops. Not because I'm going to attack it next or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second. I can handle that monkey. Yeah. That's true. This the soldiers uh, in melee range of a monkey now. Yeah. All right, let's see here. 21. Okay. All right. 
Let's go. Roll your disadvantage. Yep. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> Still That's hits, That's man. Good. Such a good shooter. All right. So you put a round down into this dog. Roll your damage. Okay. Like this is what will points were made for. This is. Yeah. This is. This is. Big damage. This is a survivor in action, man. Six plus two. All right. It's nice Moment to f finally see this class being played by someone other than me. I've only played NPCs <laughs> using this class is the only time it's yeah. been used. And then he uh, died. <laughs> yeah, and then he died. Oh, I yeah. Hey, that's not bad. Seven points of damage. All right. So you put uh, the round down into the dog. It yelps and rears a little bit. So he's not dead, though. <laughs> not dead. All right. Is that Doug's turn? All right. Um, yeah, you used a will point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mark that off. I think that's your last so one, judging by your bar there. It is. Um, can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, I don't know. What do you guys? I kind of want to like take a step back into the corner to get away from him a little bit. You'll you will. Damage. You will incur an attack of opportunity. Yeah. It's not guaranteed to hit you, but you will incur one. What do you think? Just stay where I am. It's um, up to you. I, <laughs> I mean, think I'm sorry, 50, 50, you're really low. Again. You're really low. I think you should stay where you are right now because I, 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 we might be able to kill it before, before it um, happens. Yeah, yeah. We, you don't want to take any more attacks when you're really when you're that low. All right, then Doug's gonna. I'm, I'm done. He's gonna say. All right. Next up, Emil. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> use a new feature, and I'm going to use a chem fluid to heal Doug. I'm gonna pull out uh, my my freaking med kit. Oh, I'm gonna holster my gun first. I'm, pull, I'm holstering my gun. All right, and I need you to I need you to tell me how this works. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pull out my med kit, and we're gonna I'm gonna administer some healing to Doug. All right. So you're using treat minor wounds. I'm going to treat minor wounds using one of my chem fluids that I uh, totally have now. Mm -hmm. And that gives me a bonus attack with my with a with a weapon, right? Yeah, bonus weapon attack. It's a bonus weapon attack, or is it a bonus action with weapon attack? That. <laughs> Because I also have a bonus action attack, anyways, with the with my offhanded uh, knife. Do I get two bonus actions? That is true. Uh, no, you do not get two bonus actions. Can I do this? <laughs> Can I stab with the knife, just stab the, the dog, heal Doug, and then stab again? You <laughs> cannot do that. You do not get uh, multiple attacks with your bonus action. Okay, so then instead of sh okay, then instead of uh, pocketing the knife, I'm pocket the. No, 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 I lied because that it's no longer offhanded because I put my gun away. Yeah, exactly. So no, no, it's just yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay, no, that's exactly what I wanted then. I'm going to yeah, heal yeah. Doug. I'm going to pull up my, my med kit, holster, pull up my med kit, administer healing to him. So uh -huh. he gets uh, whatever a chem fluid gives. That is... I forgot. Wait, hold on. I have it down here. <sighs> Yeah, so no. Emil pulls out his med kit and starts coming at you, Doug, with a needle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Street Miner Wounds? Doug's confused. <laughs> oh, there it is. It is... Band -Aids. 1d8. Don't forget about your intelligence mod. Yep. Don't move. <laughs> Alright, Doug, you recover seven hit points. Oh my god. And then I'm going to uh hit him with the knife. Or hit him with the no, hit him with the needle, <laughs> hit the dog with the knife in the other hand. Alright. With your bonus action <laughs> attack. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was a sizable chunk of your health. <laughs> yeah. 23. 23 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. Roll your damage as you stab your pocket knife down into this uh, this zombified dog. This is dog. a kitchen knife. Oh, is this a kitchen knife? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, uh, there's a plus three on that, so that's four. All right, four points of... That is four points of uh, slash. All right, against the dog directly below you. Yes. All right, you come down and uh, slash at it with your knife, dealing a good amount of damage as you open up a wound in its side, a new wound. Uh, this thing's looking very rough. Yeah, come on, medic. Yeah, so I guess, uh, Doug, you're not in danger anymore. Let me take that off you, <laughs> I'm assuming. How many uh, HP points do other people have? I feel like I'm really low. Like that's, uh, You have more than I do. I'll oh. tell you that much. 
And if, you, if, if you've sure got, you have more than Arkea. <laughs> for sure, because if you have danger at six, you have more than I do. Okay. Yeah, you're you're at twenty two, and so am I. All right. Uh, that will be uh, my. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. All right, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, I can do Next anything else. Next up, the, or uh, rather, it's not the okay. dog's turn yet. I just accidentally put in a roll that was already <laughs> in my chat. <laughs> uh, so ignore that. Next up is Archaea. Okay. You're fucking mad. Archaea, what are you doing? Um, she's going to take another shot at this dog. A shot another at the dog with a slap. baton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bullets come out the end of this baton now. <laughs> no. Uh, she's just going to smack the dog. In the All right, roll your attack. Hopefully. Oh. Right. Actually. So that's a 13 no, total? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to add your proficiency yeah, modifier. I forgot the. All right, oh, well, eight points. <laughs> so. You uh, slam down with your baton on top of this uh, zombie dog's head and just bludgeon it into the dirt below. It appears <laughs> to be out cold. Nice. I knew that girl would be fun on her own. <laughs> <laughs> help, help, help. <laughs> All right. Okay, so with... She still has movement. But it yeah, you do still have movement. Half. Is it half? Are yet. you in danger? You no, I'm in caution. <laughs> then you still have no. full movement. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. She's gonna, she's gonna move uh, before something else decides to, you know, jump through the window. And... All right, that was 10 feet of movement. Yeah. So then, there. She can get there. All right. All right, and if that's, that's all she can do. All right, next up is uh, the Eliminators. This monkey is going to go ahead and take a swipe at Chauncey because he's directly in front of him. Uh, well, actually, he's going to... It's not going to take a swipe. He's going to jump at you with its oh, teeth no. out and attempt to bite you. Oh, oh, no. Bring it. <laughs> oh no. That's a yeah, 20 to hit. Is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You suffer badly. Archaea comes to save the day. <laughs> you take six points of damage, one of which is necrotic, as it jumps up and uh, sinks its teeth into you and starts biting down, and uh, you are bleeding from the neck and you are considered grappled. Goodbye, it just, <laughs> it just sits on you. <laughs> I love the lack of transparency is yeah. <laughs> so weird. Well, you gotta put Chauncey Chan over top. Yeah, I'll, I'll move him down. Yeah. Don't worry, this ain't gonna last for long. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. All right. So uh, it is, uh, the Eliminator is grappling you. Uh, next up is Chauncey. Because I accidentally oh. put Stacy's turn previously in the round. All right, so what are you doing, Chauncey? You're grappled. You're this monkey, which is like half of your height is all over your upper body. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, in a, when in Adrenaline Rush, am I able to what? contest the grapple and still do an attack? Uh, let's see. Technically, I mean, you, advantage, but... you will have an advantage. I think generally grapple type uh, actions are considered attacks in 5e. Yeah. So I will say yes. Okay, so how do I contest it with strength, right? Uh, yeah, athletics? make an athletics check, and because you're using an adrenaline rush, you make it with advantage. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I can, do, I can do that. Let me see here. Let me set it. So, athletics. Athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher for you. There's no proficiency with that, because, you know, I am proficient with all weapons. And Are you proficient weapons, with right? athletics? I am proficient with athletics. Yeah. That's so a it's... little check mark, right? So yeah. I add my proficiency bonus. Oh, yeah, this dude's wrecked. <laughs> Get out of here. With advantage. Oh, yeah, let's go again. 
Not that it matters, because you did uh, succeed the first time. Uh, but I just wanted to see what you get. So yeah, you, you there's a monkey wrestling with you over your upper torso. You grab it by the side and throw it, chuck it to the ground in front of you. Uh, it moves back into its own space, and uh, you are no longer grappled. Now, that was one of my attack actions, right? I would consider that one of your attack actions, yes. Damn it. You guys got that dog down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, my effective range says five five to 100. He's considered five, right? Well, he's he's farther than that. No, 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 the monkey. Oh, the monkey? He's considered yeah. five. You would be at disadvantage. Okay. Oh, um, that's in my effective range, five to 100. It's, it's saying everything five feet or less. And he is within five feet of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's in your he's through. in your melee reach, uh, which is what yeah, constitutes the disadvantage. Being, being that I tossed him off me, does if I move, will he get will he get um, attack of opportunity? Uh, I don't believe he's taken one this round, so yes. Oh, I figured tossing his ass to the ground should have <laughs> nulled that. Uh, it's an action. It's Wait, is it an action for me to switch to my knife? No, you can draw it because it's uh, because it's small. Well, you, you can draw it in your offhand, yeah, because it's a light weapon. But you will not be. Uh, you won't be able to add your strength modifier, but you can still add your bleed. Yeah, if you would attack with your offhand. What if I'm holding my gun in my offhand and I attack with my my strong Actually, hand? you can't because both weapons have to be light for you to do two weapon fighting. Oh, oh yeah, both yeah, weapons. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, and I don't think that gun is light, seeing as it's a two-handed can weapon. I, can I drop it? The gun? Drop the gun, stab the monkey. You know what? You can do that. I'm so drop you can... the gun, stab wait, the wait. monkey. So the AR's on the ground and you're pulling your knife out. Yes. All right, go ahead and make a melee attack with your with your knife. When we were talking about this earlier, didn't we say that you can have it? You can have one in one hand and the other in the mine's, other hand, but you just can't use it. Mine's a double-handed. Mine's a double-handed weapon. Yeah, but you just can't use weapon. it though. But you can hold it and and not have it do anything. Nah, I'll just drop it on the ground. I'll pick it back up. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. we did. I think we did come to that conclusion. But for this instance, we'll just let yeah. what what's happened happen. And plus, yeah, yeah. plus, like I wreck because I'm doing an athletics check with the knife, right? Yeah, because he's yeah, because he you're gonna want the damage <laughs> anyways. Well, it's, it's, a, damage. it's a melee weapon attack, so yeah, I think it, if you're using strength, then it'll come out. I think to the same bonus that you use on your knife or on your athletics. Yeah, my athletics, my proficiency, and all that goody good stuff. Oh, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that plus seven? Yeah, because I have a plus five for athletics, plus two for proficiency. No, 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 no. So oh, just strength. Just strength plus proficiency for melee oh, weapon attacks. Okay, then, yeah, minus that by a whole bunch. Um, <laughs> two, two, either way, two, four, either way no. it doesn't hit. So Minus three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. You swing at this thing with uh, your knife, and it is uh, just squirming out of the way. Is that going to be your turn? Can I pick my gun back up? Uh, that'll be a free action on your next turn, I'll say. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll stay in my ground. All right. Next up is uh, what's left of the dogs. There's still one left down here. He's going to yep. uh, attempt to take a bite at Doug. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just healed that, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It doesn't have any allies, so it just gets the one rolled. Does a 16 hit? I forget what I do. Uh, it's your AC. I think you said oh, your 12. AC was 12, 12 earlier, yeah. So that hits, you suffer... <laughs> That's a yeah, cocked that's dice, cocked. but... Uh, you suffer four points of damage, two of which is necrotic. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so, yeah, this dog just... So uh, snarls in... and bites into cool. you. I'm in caution, then. Alright, you are in caution. Mark yourself up with the yellow dot. That's just if you click on your mini, you click the little orb below you, you'll get those options. Yep. Uh, so, that is going to be the dog's turn. Uh, it is intent on engaging the two humans around it, so uh, it's going to stay where it is. Uh, top of the round, Doug, you're up. Okay. 
I'm going to shoot that fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One. Yeah. Well, the only dog left. I just like watching yeah. that circle expand. Yeah, I know. It's, um, not, it's satisfying. <laughs> All right. So we're doing. Uh, oh, make an attack again with disadvantage. Yep. Yeah, plus two. Plus two. Plus two. All right. Let's go. Let's hope my magic works out. Oh! <laughs> let's see what the right, disadvantage that, is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Could have been. Hear thumbs. <laughs> Oh! Oh, 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 no. oh no! Natural it's twenty to natural three. Uh, you're I mean, so he's, confident. He's right there. I have to hit him. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, I, you, you. Unfortunately, this dog is moving too quickly, and you fire a uh, round down at it, and it uh, just darts with a sudden burst of speed out of the way. All right. I mean, I can't do anything else. Yeah, you can't action control. surge anymore. <laughs> Okay, um, is there any options besides moving? Uh, if you have anything that can be done as bo bonus action? I do yeah, believe what, as, what? as a survivor, can't you make melee attacks as a bonus action? I th Yes, I believe you're correct. I, think I don't have a melee a, weapon, no. Yeah, it would just be an unarmed attack, which yeah. would can just be... Can I pistol whip? Yeah. That would be an improvised attack, which would be the same thing as doing it unarmed. So you know what? I'm gonna pistol whip him. All right, pistol whip him. I Actually, don't know what it's gonna be slightly do. better. So go ahead, uh, make a melee attack. So that'll be adding your strength modifier to a d20 roll. Uh, my strength modifier mm -hmm. is uh, zero. Great. Okay. <laughs> he may be. He's so stocky looking, but he's like, <laughs> he's not is this strong. A, is this a is this a, a roll with modifiers? Yeah, the, just D twenty plus yep. strength is the for this melee uh, attack since so you can't add proficiency. D20. All right, let's just. I'm hoping let's get another nat twenty here. <laughs> uh, that's eleven. Eleven plus zero. So you uh, bring the gun down and attempt to pistol whip this thing, but it is still <laughs> just moving just out of your way. You just miss it. Okay. So I'm. That's. That's all I can do right now. Unless, yeah, right. unless you want to move, which I would incur attack. You know what? I have I have a little bit of space. I'm going to move. All right. Yeah, you could step over the corpses of everything else. This dog is going to take an opportunity attack on you, though. I'm actually going... Oh, uh, wait. Um, I, I hold space bar, right? Yeah, hold mm -hmm. space bar while you're dragging your guy. So after you've already picked him up. All right, I'm going to move there. Okay, so yeah, moving over the bodies and the furniture, the dog's going to opportunity attack. 16, so that hit, hits you. You <laughs> take another another cock's dice, but that equals six points of damage after that. Six? Yeah. Well, I'm in max uh, almost. <laughs> I'm in the, the very red. I'm as red as you can get. You're I'm, in the danger zone, all right. I'm so the very red. red. All right. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. Oh no, that's not do that. Don't, don't do yet. Nope, don't do nope. that. Not there yet. Okay. Dog. <laughs> there we go. If you if you re-click the yellow, you can drop the yellow caution off. Yes, that's that what as I was well. Wondering. Uh, okay, gotcha. All right. So uh, yeah, but you do still have the effects of both. So uh, you it takes a bite and a chunk out of your side and taking a patch of clothing with it as you attempt to run away from it. But you do get across the room. Next up. If that's Doug's turn, is a meal. All right, I'm going to um, stab this dog. <laughs> All right, roll for attack. All right, yeah. if that hits, roll for your damage. Die, dog! <laughs> Piercing in the head. All right. I thought you said this was a kitchen knife. This is a kitchen knife. You rolled a D8, though. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a D6. Yeah. I'll have you... I think I'll Hold have on. you re-roll that just because you rolled the wrong dice. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, you come down with uh, five points of... What's that going to be? How are five you using this knife? Five points of piercing right to the head. Alright. So, you come down with your kitchen knife and bring it right through its cranium, pinning it to the ground with a resounding thud in the wooden floors. Uh, that dog is down for the count good 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 i'm gonna uh leave that knife where it is i'm gonna draw my my gun okay so 
uh, leaving the knife in the dog's head, you draw your Glock, and is that where you're ending your turn? That is going to be where I end my turn. Alrighty. Uh, next up is Arkea. Muted. I think she might be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can't hear her. Can't hello? hear you. Um, hello? There you are. Yeah, I was muted. Okay. Because I left and got the... Um. Alright, so Arkea is going to take the dash action. Alright, 50 feet of movement. So, 5... 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. How much did you say? 50? 50, 50. yeah. Okay, she's gonna stop there though. All right. So you, you have to do every every box. That is true. No, I'm just saying you, you, saying you don't have to. Oh, yeah. you don't have to. Yeah, you just do it every time you turn. Yeah. Oh. But nonetheless, okay. nonetheless, that works as well. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, Arkea comes bolting into the room at full speed, sees yeah. the bodies on the ground, and decides to dash towards the last standing monkey. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's actually all she can do. All right. You ending your turn there? No bonus actions. Encourage. <laughs> I can't. Unfortunately. Oh. Are you oh, out of okay. support That's dice? Fine. How many? Wait. Did she get? Hold on a second. Have you rested? Not I'd... since I entered battle, and I've already used. You've only used oh. one, I think. No, I used one on the kid. You discouraged the. Rest. You discouraged the dog. Yeah. yeah, the dogs, which doesn't uh, consume yeah. any of your support oh, dice. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Because no dice oh, are rolled during that process, besides the oh, yeah, will right. save. Right. The, oh, they don't. God. None. None of your. <laughs> that doesn't. Really yeah. None of your support okay, dice get rolled so during cool. that. Uh, <laughs> then she's gonna encourage people. <laughs> Or a person. <laughs> uh, hmm, God, this all looks bad. Stop that monkey. She, she's actually going to encourage the woman standing behind Chauncey. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> uh, stab her. <laughs> stab her. Because <laughs> she needs encouragement. Chauncey doesn't need encouragement. He's good with his role. Uh, uh, she's just going to say it. I know you don't know me, but just kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She feels surprisingly encouraged by this adorable <laughs> little girl, and uh, she will take one of your support dice, which I believe awesome. is a, a D6. Yes. Uh, so, uh, if that is the end of Arkea's turn, next up, yep. this monkey is going to be swinging wildly, uh, <laughs> and it's going to happen to hit uh, Chauncey in front of it. Cool. <laughs> That's Not a 15? Yeah, that matches. <laughs> okay, yeah, that hits. All right, you Man. suffer. 15. So use encouragement. <laughs> that, that wouldn't have helped you, but. <laughs> no, not right now, but here in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Also, remember, uh, yeah. she actually does have an ability that could have helped there, but it's too late for that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, you take cool. six points of slashing damage as it claws across you. Uh, see, guys, I'm getting wrecked by monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I am in danger. All right. Uh, uh, Movement speed is halved. Oh, I know what Raph was I'm not talking. moving anyways. So. Uh, all right, next up uh, with Doug now by her side. Uh, this woman here is going to go ahead and... Cast treat minor wounds on him and start uh, tending to him with uh, her. Uh, she pulls out this medical satchel from her side and starts tending to his wounds. So, yeah. <laughs> kill the monkey! Kill the monkey! <laughs> I told you, kill. we don't even like him that much. We're only here for the water. We're only here for the water. <laughs> <laughs> so you recover eight hit points, Doug. Nice. I take that back now that you have more. I feel like Doug would appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Oops. Uh, just that moment when you're just like, oh, woman. 
Woman, I didn't say make a sandwich right now. I said <laughs> Wait, how many? Wait, I recovered how many? Eight. Yeah, yeah the most know. recent roll there. Yeah, I don't know why that screwed up here. So I should be at... I was at three, right? Uh, I don't know where we're at. Your health bar is off screen right now. It was off in the shadow. Yeah. Hold on, let's... Boop! There's your bar. <laughs> oh. There we go. Okay, 11. It kept, right. it kept uh, subtracting every time. I don't know. I must have pressed something wrong. But hmm. All right. And uh, that is going to... Uh, yeah, that's going to be her turn. Uh, next up is Chauncey. All right, I'm going to cut that fucking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming at it with the knife thing. again. Roll Wait, your attack. You're coming at it with the oh. knife again, you said? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah make your attack. That knife. And that's going to be with all the... the we're we're, we're going to slash him with the bleed. Oh, that's right. Military fighting style. So... Uh, uh. All right, that's a 14 to hit. That hits. Go ahead okay. and roll your damage, adding your bleed. Good thing that the damn thing didn't need to... Uh, didn't need encouraged. <laughs> no, you could have used motivation though. I lost my bleed. Where's that at? It should be a D4, I do believe. How do I add it to 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 the roll? Uh, just you, it, I'm just, gonna just roll. I'm gonna roll a D4 now. And well, you just you the, can just add it to the syntax. So you'll do slash roll plus. You know, uh, the 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 dice. So one d four at the end plus one d four. Uh, one d eight. That's, that's what, yeah. That's what I've been mobility. doing for. Yeah. Plus Is no it, plus strength. Yeah. Yeah. For melee, unless you're using finesse. Can I just? Uh, I don't think I have it. Poor Arkea, or poor, poor Katara got none of the action. <laughs> yeah, but she's like, <laughs> she's sitting pretty right she's now. <laughs> she's like, she's safe. So yeah, okay, so that's how that works. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I yeah. roll their necrotic damage as well, you may notice. Um, so, it takes nine total points of damage then? Yep. Of the, what sort of variety? Uh, well, I guess it has the, to be slashing. <laughs> yes. Well, it says slashing or piercing. Uh huh. Oh. So slashing is what I said, and yeah. then the plus two, and then the three for bleed. All right. So nine points of damage. So you come at this uh, monkey uh, somehow, managing to uh, trap its arm and then slit it from the wrist, uh, dealing some bleed damage as you cut. Uh, so that appears to have done a number. Nice. It's still alive. It's still up. Okay, I'm gonna hit it again. All right, you do go, your attack yes. again. You can only do yeah, bleed once per turn, I do believe. So that's fine. Oh. All right, so the second swing you follow up misses as you swipe across, Damn and it. it is jumping out of the way. Could have used some encouragement. Could have used some encouragement. All right. So is that the end of uh, Chauncey's turn? <laughs> I have a feeling Raph just made her heal her out of spite. <laughs> or heal Doug out of spite. Also, <laughs> Doug, I don't, I, I don't think you're in danger anymore, so you can remove the red dot if you please. Oh, yeah, sorry. Is that Chauncey's turn? Uh, I'm debating. I'm so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead. That's not true. Uh... Yeah, that's it for me. I'll All just, right. I'll hold on to my knife. I'm actually still in caution, by the way. Oh, still in caution. So you have yeah. a yellow dot yellow. then. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right. So next up, top of the round, it's Doug. All right. Let's finish this. <laughs> I'm going to obviously shoot this guy right here. All right. So. And he cutting. is within. He is far enough away where there's no disadvantage, right? Uh, are you yeah. using your handgun? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct then. Ten feet, okay. Yep, so shooting between the crowd, you take <laughs> aim that... at the Eliminator. 
would it, is is there a disadvantage because there's like people around? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Let's do this Doug style. <laughs> Doug style. Doug style. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's terrible Doug style. Oh man. Can we get a, can we get a new style? style? Rest. <laughs> so taking uh, taking aim, you uh, overcompensate trying to avert the friendlies in front of you and end up putting a hole through the wall with your shot. I deserve I to die. Like okay. be like, hey, now. <laughs> I'm back here. <laughs> All right. Um. Man, I don't even know. I think they're right back, guys. All right. All right. They're, I think they're the living best up thing, to their name. <laughs> I think the best thing for me to do would just be. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just gonna mm, stay put. All right, you're sitting pretty. All right. Next up is Emil. All right. I'm going to. Go, Emil, He's not go. here. But I'm gonna I'm I'm going over this way. Uh, ah, where'd I go? <laughs> you've been eclipsed. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little dance. All right, uh -huh. thank you. And uh, man, he's not here. I kind of want to wait until he comes back. But I'm gonna use my green yellow orb on Emil or on a uh, Chauncey. Chauncey. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my green yellow red. Okay. This is a full heal. Oh, this is the best possible heal you could do. This is a full heal. <laughs> then, um, <laughs> oh, these were so satisfying back and forth. I do not know how much this is, so you have to tell me. Oh, right. Uh, green, red is 8d4 plus 8. And <laughs> then when he gets back, he's going to have to roll one of his hit dice and add his constitution modifier to increase his maximum health. Yeah, and the and the eight D eight plus eight goes to the new health as well. Uh, because he's uh, already damaged, it'll just be no. Okay, he'll just be recovered. So he'll recover. Oh, you're saying it like if it goes past his maximum, will it go yeah. into the new health? Yeah, it will. Okay, so that's eight D eight. Is his character model based on Danny McBride? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. It looks like it. Who that? Hold on. It 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 John C. Hey John C. Hey John C. Hey John C. Yeah, you just got these. Where did that last one come from? Why is that popping off? It's like a little popcorn. Take one of those. Uh, no, those are supposed to be D fours. I think you rolled the wrong dice. Oh wait, so huge. You said eight D four plus eight. Oh, no, I heard eight D eight plus eight. I heard eight D eight plus eight. I might I have misspoke then before. if I said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so re re-roll it. So, re yeah, for sure. <laughs> Take one of these. <laughs> Where does that one <laughs> keep coming from? <laughs> All right, so you recovered 26 hit points, but before you add that, Chauncey, I need you to roll one of your hit dice and add your constitution modifier. Roll one of my hit dice. Yeah. Add constitution. I believe you're a D10, okay. right? Yeah. Yep, a D10 and one. So roll D10, add constitution modifier. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, again! Oh. Every oh. single what? health <laughs> increase roll he's done has been maximized. Was that, that a yellow? Was... was that a yellow? Yeah, yeah. how is that Fuck possible? Yeah, that was. So That's a green, your, yellow, red. Your hit point maximum has been increased by 11, and you regained 26 hit points. Okay, so oh now God. I'm at... 33. <laughs> Every his oh my goodness. You you missed out on taking the brute path, uh, which would make you super tanky, but it seems you don't even need it. You have <laughs> maximized your hit point rolls. I call hex. So that puts me <laughs> I know. At 30 it seems fishy. <laughs> wow. That puts me at 30. Oh. Well, so I am no I am no longer in danger. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I freaking walk over with you, you with this freaking like chemical, like this this herb mixture. That's like it's like purple because of all the different colors mixed into it. <laughs> yeah, and you just rub it all over his wounds. I'm just like here, take some of this. Rub me down. Rub me in. I don't need encouragement. I needed to heal. So I'm sorry. I got confused. <laughs> I got confused. Um, because Thank you. um. Thank you very much. By the way. Hey, you're kill it. 
<laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab the shit out of this thing. Um. Oh wait, no, no, no. Never mind. I left, I left my knife back. Right. All right. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Next up, Arkea. Well, you know what Arkea is gonna do. Yep. Roll it. <laughs> roll for attack. Beat that monkey. <laughs> that's how much total? That's it. Uh, so that's ten. Oh. Because you have a yeah, proficiency ten. Yeah, in ten. blunt. Yeah. Remember to add your proficiency bonuses. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that doesn't hit. So you swing with your no, uh, baton and uh, miss as it ducks out of the way. Okay. Uh, good for good for it. Um, <laughs> gonna meals right next to her. She's gonna look over at him and she's going to I believe it's motivate is the one that heals. Uh, I believe that's correct. I just don't remember what it heals for. Hold on. Uh, it uses your uh, support dice. Oh, support dice. That's right. So just roll one of your support dice if oh. you're going to motivate someone, and then they recover that as a heal. Also, uh, Doc, change your max hit points on your character. I already did. Well, because your bar is going oh, wait, overboard. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go to your character sheet. To, I, yeah, I forgot to go to the settings. That things, is but... good enough. So, um, <laughs> good enough. Live. <laughs> Emil, you recover two hit points. That's good enough. Is it? Oh, you're yes. in caution now. <laughs> That's good enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta love the new the new calculations we have for the health yes. now. Yes. Okay. So, uh, is that going to be our case turn? It has to be, unfortunately. All right. Next up, the eliminator is gonna claw at Chauncey again. Give Actually, it to me. Give <laughs> yeah, it all yeah, to nineteen. Me. I already <laughs> declared it. Uh. So you suffer three points of slashing damage as it comes at you again with its claws and tears down your silky smooth shirt. Ouch. My shirt. No, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt. <laughs> and I totally picture Chauncey doing that too. <laughs> like it's it matches the like the tattoo marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the claw marks every, on the panther. I think every time that something attacks my shirt, I should bitch smack it. <laughs> <laughs> no damage, just intimidate. Yeah, wow. just reaction. <laughs> <or> like, oh. <laughs> I'm ready to mess this monkey up. All right, <laughs> good. Uh, next, do. next up, the woman is going to take a shot at oh, it. Yeah, <laughs> Poor woman. With her Glock. That is an eight, but she is going to use her uh, encouragement to <laughs> hey. see if she can improve that. Nope, nope that's, that's she still it. misses. <laughs> so she was uh, she was feeling really motivated from Arkea earlier. Takes aim, lines up the shot, and misses. <laughs> And then re and realizing she still has no idea who, who she is. Yeah, yeah, and then it hits her. Uh, next up, Chauncey. Do what you do. Didn't hit the monkey. <laughs> All right, monkey, me and you, bro. I'm gonna stab it. <laughs> Slashing. And bleed. All right, roll for attack. Ooh, Hot, that definitely it. hits. Roll your damage. This one. Dead monkey. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Dead All right. <laughs> so you pull out the, your knife and start uh, coming at it, just swinging down with an attack. Uh, Chauncey, how do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, I am I am cutting it across the throat and watching it bleed. All right. So you uh, switch from a sort of ice pick grip to a more standard grip. As it comes at you with its claws, you grab it, swing around its back, and using the serrated edge on the other side of your combat knife, just <laughs> across the throat, opening up its jugular, and it begins bleeding, letting out a... Oh, as, it, <laughs> as it clamors at its neck, falling to its knees, and then eventually collapsing against the wall as a pool of blood begins to fester around its feet. Isn't this thing like a foot and a half tall? 
<laughs> yeah. Like, baby, so, I don't care. Yes, I really so love the shit out of that monkey. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're describing it, it's like this hulking thing that's like falling around. Yeah, it, it, barely, <laughs> it barely went down, but yeah. <laughs> but it, it like, went down like nonetheless. The three squirrels. <laughs> if only, if only they fought like this in Resident Evil. <laughs> All right. Amazing. If only there was four people on a team in Resident Evil. That's true. Do you guys remember uh, Outbreak? Uh, yes, I do. The, co the co-op one. Yup. I actually have not played the Outbreak games, but They're... nonetheless, <laughs> that would be a good stream. We should play it. Oh man. <laughs> All right. So, with that, silence overtakes the room as the last of the. Uh, creatures that have invaded seem to be down for the count. Uh, a little boy kind of peeks out from the door as it sort of uh, creaks open, just like so. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's just like, are, are they are they are they dead? D Doug runs over to him. All right. <laughs> So, so, past your wife. Yeah, she was out of the, the kids, way. Kids first. <laughs> Actually, first Stop. she's going to, uh, she's going to. You might want to click on the move select. <laughs> yeah, first she's going to tend to, uh, tend to his wounds, uh, and cast, uh, treat minor wounds on him. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I was also gonna say I'm. Go I want to use treat minor wounds on, uh, uh, Arkea as well. Okay, so yeah, she starts uh, tending to his wounds using supplies from her med kit on her side. Uh, so now that the uh, now that everything has had a chance to die down, you now uh, get to see a good look at these people. You see uh, the woman appears to be in her early thirties. She's wearing blue jeans and has a green canvas jacket over a button-up shirt. She's got brunette hair pulled up into a ponytail and a baseball cap, kind of coming over, obscuring her eyes. And uh, the boy uh, seems like a really small child, no more than eight years old. He's got short brown hair, and he's wearing a t-shirt and shorts. So on Arkea's level, got it? <laughs> Probably even shorter than Arkea. Yeah. Hmm. Nice that roll. Stage. I know, right? Is that for Arkea? That's for Arkea, and I'm going to use a, uh, a greener by myself. Wait a minute. That did not do what I wanted. I had six. And I, I tried to add 11, but it did not work. Yeah, mine was adding weird, too. It kept subtracting every time I added. I think roll 20 is being janky. I've never added. I just do the math, two. and then I re-put the numbers in. Hmm. Plus 2d4 plus 2. And this is my greener for myself. Eight. Okay. Man. So you recover some of your points. Okay. <laughs> All right. So... So, 13, because it exceeds. So after uh, she's done tending to his wounds, she's just going to look up to Doug. She's like, oh, thank God you're here. Who, who you didn't you didn't say you were bringing guests. <laughs> uh, these people uh, protected me and, and got me to you. Is that right? We've been, we've been through a lot over the last, not quite sure how long, but. About a day, I believe. <laughs> About a day or so. It's it's really bad out there. It's really bad. Uh, hope you don't mind if we tag along yeah, or stay here. Oh, so I, while I'm doing this, I'm I'm like dragging bodies in out the door. All right. <laughs> like while I'm talking, it's like I hope you don't mind if we stay. Yeah. Dragging yeah. a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, did, did Arcan die? Green. <laughs> oh. I think my. Yo. I think Arkea might have gotten. She went yeah. full Rastafarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Death everywhere. Yeah, if you're fine, uh, you don't have to put any uh, symbol if you I don't want. To, I, I can't figure. Out. I can't figure out how to get rid of it, so I just. You just it. click it again. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> uh, so, Stacy's uh, just gonna pipe up, or you guys don't know her name yet. Uh, she's, yeah. just, she's just gonna be like, uh, uh, "Well, be our guest." I mean, thank you, thank you for helping us. And thanks for helping, Doug. Did you guys see anything on the way here? Anything out of the ordinary? I'm talking to Stacy. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> I like because Doug doesn't group, know yeah. what she's seen uh, or knows what what yeah. if she knows what's going on. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, there was the crazy rioting in the city, but the drive up here was pretty quiet. You're muted, I think. Oh, yeah, we can't hear you if you're saying something. Oh. Nope. Oh, no. We've lost Sarah's. Sarah's! No! Chauncey's yeah. just uh, gone. <laughs> I was just moving. While oh. he's going through this, then I was going to tell him what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, and I'm also, again, I'm dragging all the bodies out. Uh, That's what I was going to be doing, hear you. too. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we oh, can. There yeah. you are. No. Okay. No, you, no, no, but... So, yeah, I was just explaining to her kind of what's going on, catching her up, and letting her know that uh, basically dead people are walking around outside. Okay. Although, I guess... Yeah. She's just gonna be like, oh, well, that sounds rather extreme. I hold up a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's unfortunately true. It, it is, outside. but... But we're safe here now, and I'm not ever leaving, ever. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, it sure doesn't feel safe with these things bursting through the windows. We're going to have to board up. I know. I have I have the supplies in the in the cellar. We'll, we'll get it all boarded up and fixed up, and then we are staying here, and we're not leaving. <sighs> that seems to be the best option currently. Are you guys sticking around for a little while? Uh, until the, the quarantine blows over. Think so. Well, you guys are welcome to whatever you'd like. I have, you know, the food is in the is in the storage area, and I have beds, and we have everything that you need here. You're welcome as long as you like. Well, uh, do we? We still have all the all, all of our, our supplies still in the the truck, right? Or the yeah. Jeep Hummer? Yeah, car. Which is sh- vehicle, short walk south deals. of here. <laughs> through yeah, the, through the forest. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, you guys should move the car up. Can we? Uh, it was about the closest it could get. The trees uh, become thick after that, and that's right. We should at least hide it out there. <clears throat> we should at, we should at least hide it. Put yeah, rubber around it. Park it in the trees. I have I have some netting and some things that we could we could make a, like a, like a cover for it. Perfect. So <laughs> can I uh, can I work on uh, getting some after getting all of the creatures out of the house? Can I start working on getting the stuff like any materials like doing some runs from the, mm-hmm. the for sure back. i'll say eventually you um, get all the bodies is. i still don't know what it is <laughs> all the bodies out so we will just go ahead and delete these guys yeah just to get them i'm just, I'm just the chucking them board. into the woods yeah <laughs> um i don't even know if you know about actually, this one out here so i'm gonna leave well, them there I, I, would, I would i would see it while i'm working, working around because actually what i think i would do is a good few paces out i would make a perimeter of the bodies okay hmm. Just in case, if they like smell a dead one of their own, they won't come any closer. I see. I see. So like, like a good fifty paces out from the the main building, I'm gonna start laying them out in increments. All right, good to know. And so you do probably eventually see this one then. <laughs> yeah. And get to him too. So yeah, we'll say they're all sort of laid out around the uh, perimeter uh, surrounding mm-hmm. the cabin. And then I'm gonna start working on the vehicle. Okay. What kind of chairs are these? Uh, they're just uh, wooden chairs. Okay, she's gonna like like do the natural kid thing where they like tip back on their chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Archaea sits in the chair and starts kind of rocking it backwards rocking. a little bit. Yep. <laughs> uh, so with Emil going out and about, uh, the one just sort of turns to Chauncey and the others that are inside. Just says, oh, "Well, again, I thank you. I mean, you." really seem to have gone out of your way to help us and to, to help our family. So if there's anything you need, I'm Stacy, by the way, and she extends her hand for to Chauncey, who's right next to her. Uh, I grab her hand, shake it, and explain to her I'm Chauncey and I'm, I'm a police officer and pick Doug up to help him because he uh he needed the help. You know, and that's what we're here for. Huh. We're We're here to help. So. I'm I'm running stuff back and forth, uh-huh. and I'm just like uh, a meal. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. 
Nah, I just I just say I I only plan on staying the night for sure for the night, but I have, we have to go back and collect Tara up. Oh yeah, morning, I'm sure like you promised. have interest in the city. Well, this cabin's welcome to you if you uh if you ever need a place to stay up here in the woods away from all that chaos. Are you are you Anyhow. hurt? Are you injured? I'm a, I'm a I'm a nurse. I could I could tend to your wounds. Uh, a couple scratches if you want to take a look at them. I'll, that'll be okay with me. All right. And she's she's going to look you over. Uh she's she's going to go ahead and uh do some more healing. Uh just cuz she has the supplies. I don't even have to use my hit dice when I take cat sleep. <laughs> Once, I finish, <laughs> Once I finish running stuff back and forth and cover the uh the vehicle with the netting. Uh I'm gonna I wanna do a couple rounds with uh just like just around the perimeter. Can I see if I can find some more green herbs in the woods? Uh I would oh, say shit, I, don't have a, I don't have a, a light. I mean that yeah, light. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're blind outside. Arkea throws you a flashlight. Alright, I'll, I'll I'm just gonna borrow this flashlight. You don't have to take it out of your inventory. I'm just gonna use it to, oh. to do a do a quick rounds and can then I, uh... See if we can pick some stuff up. Can I situational awareness anything <laughs> on this area? Would it be pointful? I just want, you... I want the rest I want the rest of the room open. I hate having black <laughs> spots. Okay, so are you looking nutty. around? Yeah, I'm looking around. Okay. I want to see make sure there's no more other bad guys coming around. <laughs> just out special, the window. Any well, special the window. umbrella stuff. Well if he wants if he wants to do about. that, that's basically what I'm doing. Do you think can we like assist each other with can I or like uh, give him an assist? Well, I mean, you already oh, got advantage. You so. can explore if you want. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from that, other than the residents. Yeah. Oh, 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 do you want to? Do you, you want to take a look around? Oh, I want to pick my gun man. up first. Oh yeah, you get your you get your gun up. Oh, so you get my me? knife. Yes. Can Sarah's... Doug and his family give them permission to look around, and Doug and his family go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, they give you they give you pretty uh, express freedom for you to look around. So where are you checking first? Because uh, I think this this Doug is 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 getting ready for bed here too. So <laughs> I think, yeah, I think yeah. uh, I think my we'll section just... is is done here for now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll uh, just I'll just sit, search around this living area. These doors right behind me. Oh, uh, the so. two out here. So you head into there. This looks to be uh, another small bedroom uh, with a little bed in the corner for what looks uh, seems to be the kid. The kid. I'll search it. <laughs> <laughs> you find uh, toys and uh, various other kid things. Nothing. I just thought maybe he collected plants. You know, like the guns. <laughs> He's in the woods. He might have a BB gun. <laughs> like a gun quality. I'll check this one. All right, so going out that way, you uh, it seems to be a back door that leads you oh, to shit. the <laughs> back outside. Yeah. No. Fog of war. Let's go. <laughs> what is that right there? In that's place, that's Doug peeking out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Hold on. Uh, boop. Oh. oh, a random dog no. appears. You're sleeping in the woods, Doug. You're no. a survivalist. Uh, and then oh, this final, go. this final room. Actually, we'll just go ahead. I'm assuming you're gonna peek in there too. Yeah. Uh, this final room appears to be the oh. bedroom, uh, the master bedroom for the two of them. Uh, and... <laughs> Me first. <laughs> Me first. Me first. Hey, do you, do you, you said. You said that there is places for all of us. Where are we supposed to sleep, man? I ain't there's, sleeping in a chair. There's a couch. There's a bed. Sleep on the floor. It's the apocalypse. It's a kid bed, man. My feet hang off this thing. Come on, man. Let me sleep in here. You sleep in that bed. You can sleep outside. Oh, things are getting rough. Emil, where are you? Looking around. Outside. So sleep in the little kid bed. The the actually yeah the actually, kid runs in he's just like uh, I, I can, can can I sleep in here tonight no <laughs> this is adorable it it, it it doesn't seem safe out there of course okay 
and just kind of curls up <laughs> oh, at the feet okay. of the bed. Aww, that's adorable. There was nothing in this area. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great with, for some reason, your 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 particular pose for your character always looks great whenever yeah, you're yeah. laying down. <laughs> that is pretty fantastic. He is taking over the couch. Oh, whoa, 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 that's I've cool. called the couch. So, Emil, you said you were trying to uh, I'm, cover the I'm, vehicle. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I imagine he would have given me the netting, and uh-huh. I, would, I was able to cover yeah. the vehicle area. Go ahead and uh, yeah. make a survival check. Let's see how how well you can do this. Oh no! It's using the environment to cover it up. All right, that's not bad. Uh, it's been a while since you had to do anything of this nature, but then again, it's been mm-hmm. a while since you've had to do. Any of the stuff you've been doing these past few days, so <laughs> that's coming back. <laughs> you you summon up your former army training and uh, apply some of these techniques to uh, covertly cover up the uh, vehicle as best you can. It's a little difficult uh, considering your lack of supplies and ha- the size of the vehicle, but you do the best you can with what you have. All right, and I'm just gonna start uh, doing rounds, mm-hmm. just to make sure there's nothing else. Going bump in the night, and uh, as well as yeah. looking for herbs. All right, uh, I would say your check from before still applies for herbs because that was for the area. Um, so make okay. a perception. Well, make a perception check with disadvantage, though. Actually, you have okay. a flashlight. I do. It'll still be disadvantage though, just because the general. Even with the light, this place is pretty obscure Dark. with the various foliage and whatnot. I. I... Oh. Oh, there's three of them. Why is there oh. three of them? We'll take the first I two, though. Don't know. <laughs> we'll take the first two and say you got a thirteen. Yeah. Well, uh, either way, it's that's the lowest of. Wait, them no, no, no. <laughs> the 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 first one was your oh. survival check. Okay, no, no, the, no, that, so you rolled. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is thirteen anyways, though. Yeah. So. so yeah. Uh, no, yeah, you don't see up here. You don't seem to see anything of interest. Uh, it all seems quiet in the night. Good. All right. I'm going to. Uh, oh, I can't grab me. There we go. Before Emil comes back, what? <laughs> back, I wanted to know: uh, Is there a railing on this porch? A what? A railing. Oh, railing! Yes, there yeah. is a railing. She is going to climb onto it and sit. On. <laughs> okay, as you're on your way back, Emil, you see Arkea just with her feet dangling off the edge of the ra- uh, the guardrails on the porch. <laughs> you gonna you gonna head back inside? Mm. She looks at a meal. I don't like this. Well, that's, that's just how it is. Do you remember the last time we were in a cabin? Yes, but I do believe this should be better. After all, we killed everything already. And, well, I hope that doesn't happen again. Probably won't. It won't happen again. <laughs> Perception, anyone? Oh, you can sense motive. Or yeah, what is that? Uh, insight. insight. Yeah. Alright. Insight check. Yes. Insight, my 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 father figure. Alright, here's my deception check. Uh, insight. <laughs> oh, wait, are you actually making a deception check? <laughs> right. I am. In instances such as this, whenever. Uh, I actually really like Matt Mercer's house rules for uh, PvP insight, which is Mm -hmm. uh, if you're getting insighted, you can make a persuasion check if you're being truthful, a deception check if you're being, uh, Uh if you're lying, and you Mm -hmm. don't tell anybody which one you did. I'm like not even hiding it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I guess I shouldn't even. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You don't, you, you don't (laughs) insight diddly squat. (laughs) I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, nope, yeah, we're, we're gonna be fine. You believe him, Arkea. Yeah. That second roll, though. <laughs> I don't know where that second roll came from, but we have I rules. I know, where... I know, but that second roll, though. Yeah. He does if... fucking see his lying teeth. <laughs> I don't know if Raph's prepared for this, but, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna jump down. She's going to open her backpack. She's gonna take out her um, cassette player because mm-hmm. she does not currently have it on, and she is going to play one of her tapes. Okay, which one is she playing? Uh, one of the Yuko tapes. 
one of the only two Yuko tapes that are alive. Mm -hmm. uh, which <laughs> ones did... Oh, actually, I have that here. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter which one, just, mm -hmm. just pick one. <laughs> the sickness has stopped, thank God. But now I'm just tired all the time. I'm starting to show some not that same old tiny frame anymore. I guess this is what happens when you have something growing inside of you. As far as I know, the doctors say the baby is okay, but I still worry. I know I said I didn't want one like this, but you quickly learn once the baby starts growing that you must protect it no matter what, and that is what I plan to do. I will never stop fighting for the baby that grows within me. It may not be how I planned it, but that doesn't make me any less its mother. Watch and see what happens when Umbrella or my father tries to take it away from me. I will fight for the baby as I have for the one I love so many times before. I pray that someday, Aiden, you will meet this child and be able to love it as I have. And that's what you hear. Is there uh, any markings on the tape about like a date? <laughs> uh, there um, doesn't appear to no. be, I don't think. No. Because she wouldn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't hmm. <laughs> Omeo's a goddamn kid. <laughs> really wants to know how old you really are. <laughs> um. Uh, all right. I know. I know you. You're missing a family. But. I th I... Let's just go inside and, and and sleep. We'll talk about this in the morning. She she uh, she wa she. <laughs> this reminds me of the, the father daughter talk on the porch. <laughs> uh, she just uh, she just goes. She walks past the meal and and goes in the house and like stands in a corner. Okay. <laughs> So, are you all settling in to sleep then? She yeah. can't rest. In the <laughs> I'm going to sleep on the floor. Okay. She's actually Absolutely. going to sit in the corner. What? She's actually going to sit in the corner. Okay, so she's, you just huddle up in the corner. It, well, she's doing the, like, child and bad thing, like, where she's, like, with her face towards the corner. Oh. And she's <laughs> kind of sitting there, cross-armed, looking mm -hmm. at the wall. Would would um i think i think doug left <laughs> he's asleep <laughs> yeah doug's full on to sleep yep or rather sayers um <laughs> i imagine he would have he would have given us some like stuff like blankets and yeah yeah some basic supplies yeah. to be able so, to make right. yourself comfortable i'm gonna like assemble myself but a little bed here there on is, the floor there is still a bit of uh broken glass around this area oh, and yeah. the other side oh well, that's true uh, there's, there's glass literally everywhere and the the <laughs> the i'm assuming you closed all the doors by this point but the windows oh, are still wide open yeah. beautiful i will i guess we'll have to take care of that in the morning um so yeah i'm, I'm gonna start to like like give a like a little bed right here and i'm gonna take a couple blankets and come over to our k and like just like lay one over her shoulder. Yeah. yeah, just to like, just like lay it over and just give her a pat. <laughs> and then, and then try to sleep. All right. So as you guys settle in for the long rest, we're gonna go ahead and take our break at this point, okay. and we're probably gonna be continuing for a little bit longer afterwards, um, okay. just to bring it to a nice stopping point. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be our midpoint break. So we will be right back momentarily. Don't go anywhere. Uh, thank you very much, for, <laughs> Sayers, for joining us. If you're still in the call, I don't know if he is. No, I think he left. Okay, but yeah, thanks to our, our uh, first guest appearance yeah. from Sayers, bringing Doug to the table. Uh, so we will be back in just a moment. We're just going to take a quick bathroom and drink break and all that stuff, and uh, we will continue I this uh, for probably a little while longer before we draw to a close. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. You're welcome. Welcome back. Let's get right back into things, shall we? So, as you guys um. settle in for the long rest of the night, Emil, as you drift off to sleep, 
you find yourself floating in an empty void. Eventually, your feet, clad in combat boots, land on concrete floors. You are sweating profusely in the kind of heat that could only be found south of the equator. Your body is heavy with armor, and you grip a rifle with both hands. You are in a dark corridor. Outside the corridor, you hear frantic footsteps and hushed voices murmuring in what sounds like Spanish. Damn it. <laughs> That'd be my expression. Uh, is Alright, so... I have control of myself? Yeah, you're just in the middle of a dark, featureless corridor. Um, and I'm assuming, um, if I look at my, can I see my body? Am yeah. I? Yeah, you could, you could see yourself. It's not like a first-person shooter. Uh, <laughs> I'm just wondering. If I look down. Yeah. There'd be nothing there. Your your bits <laughs> are all there, but uh, just wondering. Yeah. It's a you're dream. All... Shit's weird. It's, I've it's had worse dreams. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little <laughs> loomy, a little wavy. Some pieces come and go as you stare, but like yeah, like like the armor's changing out. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. Like as blood your, stains are moving around as your conception changes of the the environment. All right, I'm move, I'm I'm hunkering down and moving along one of the walls. All right, so you start moving along the wall, crouching down low, trying to move carefully. You eventually round the corner and see there uh, a familiar face, also in combat gear, of Jack Carmine. It's just like. Oh, oh. What you doing here, Johansson? Jack. What? Why'd you leave? What, what? What happened? Where? What's going on? Why'd you leave, Johansson? And then, in that instance, you see a looming shadow behind him as monstrous claws impale through the front of his chest and begin lifting him off the ground. His arms go wide as he screams in, in pain. Flashing lights enter the corridor from seemingly nowhere. Constant, the sound of constant barrage of gunfire echoes between your ears until suddenly you wake. Your breath is quickened, but your body is still. So you guys have now completed your long rest and are in the middle of... This cabin, sun is leaking in through the windows. The musty smell of blood and death has mostly uh, gone away. Are we all awake? Yeah, you guys are all awake. Guys, I think we need to we need to get out of here. You all right, Emil? Huh? What? I think no, we need to get out of here. Yeah. We should probably move. Probably just leave a note and head back out to Katara. Yeah, See hopefully. She's coming with those samples. <clears throat> hopefully she's uh come up with something by now. Alright. So do you guys begin heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna I leave a note. Tell okay. Him, thanks, thanks for the night's rest. Uh, hopefully, we all get through this. Are you gonna tell her that? Uh, tell him we, we're gonna be back. No, we don't know if we're coming back. No, I'm. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm wondering. If that, like, if the plan is to come back here, uh, is the plan to come back here? <laughs> I think the plan. Right. I think the plan is probably this is the the, the safest spot we can we can is be in. Even so? even if. Be like come up, like come across more zombie dogs. It's gonna be better than whatever we're gonna, whatever the the city's gonna be in. I'm assuming you guys are hashing this out in character as well. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Why am I clearing my throat? <laughs> yeah, you sound the, yeah, That's sounds just Chauncey. <laughs> he's getting, he's getting, he's like, he's waking up. I, uh, this is probably the best place we can be, we can hide out in until the quarantine lifts. Right, but we have to go through the quarantine yeah, to get well, there and back. At least it's going to be safer out here than it is going to be in the middle of the city. The middle of the city currently is just a bunch of soon-to-be 
whatever it is that these are. We need to go get Katara and get back up here then. Yeah. Because we're not getting through it many more times. Definitely not. Do you think we should try to see if we can find a road back in or should we drive close and see if we can walk through, uh, past whatever patrols they might have? I think I think my badge will get us most of the way. I think we'll be safe uh, to try it. I don't know. At we'll least see. for now. We'll see. For now. We can try it. Be good. At the very least, uh, if there's a, a blockade and they don't let us back in, that's good for us as well. Yes. I agree. Narkaya. She looks over at you. Are you you coming with us, or are you going to stay here? <laughs> I know what she wants to but, um, she, uh, she looks over at him, and she says, You're right. It is the safest here. And for that reason, I think it's better if you go and come back. All right, but are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You, you never answered. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's safe, just... but are you coming with us or not? <laughs> <laughs> and she just shakes her head and goes back to staring at the wall. Oh, so we're leaving her. All right, let's get out of here, Bill. All right, extraction mission it is. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I wanna. <laughs> Is Doug, Doug got guns in the house? <laughs> Not that you know of. Uh, Can I check? Like, around? Can I ask him? Is he awake? Doug, <laughs> 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 if you want to wake him up. Doug! <laughs> I don't, I don't want to wake him up. I just want to just rummage through. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over here and just give a yeah. light little... Uh, you, no, you yeah. here's the murmur on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, they're still asleep. <laughs> they're still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you you want to rummage around the general area? Yeah, just rummage around. Make an investigation gonna, check. I, I, I want to rummage as well. Alright, I'll say you're aiding him in his investigation, so make an yeah. investigation check with advantage. One of you. Nah, uh, you search around. Uh, right, uh. advantage. So you search around uh, the immediate living room area, uh, going through some of the drawers and whatnot. There uh, doesn't seem to be anything in the way of firepower, just some uh, spare clothes and uh, uh, some tourniquets, some other uh, just basic living things, but we did, no weapons. We got rid of um, resupply, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure, because I was like, ooh, I want, I want some of those. <laughs> Does he have, like, some, like, shortwave radio? Did he say he had shortwave radio? Uh, he did. Or it is in the uh, the room. That was this little dark thing in the corner. Mm, okay. okay. Um, that, that, Do you have any that acts, that acts along the same lines as CB. It can, it can operate on the same channels, right? Uh, essentially, I do believe. Okay, I'm going to tell... Yeah, tell Arkea, him... If you're going to stay here, I want you to remember uh, channel the 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 frequency of eleven on the okay. CB. Will that's the channel I'll always be running inside the Hummer. If you need us, you get a hold of us. Yes. And I'm also going to write that on the note. Okay. <laughs> good. Good to know. <laughs> um. Question. Mm-hmm. Is it possible to encourage somebody out of combat? Yeah, always. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't know how. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, she's going to get up. It's a. I mean, it's a bonus action. So anytime you can do a bonus action, you can do it. Which uh, out of combat you could do like a million minutes, right? bonus actions. Yeah, it does last ten minutes. minutes. Okay. Uh, she is going to get up, stretch. Her legs hurt because she's <laughs> like sitting in a corner cross-legged all night. Uh, <laughs> the whole night. She's going to, with haste, go to a meal and hug him. Oh, the fuck? I'm standing right here. <laughs> Just like, right past Chauncey. <laughs> Chop liver. I'm going to the Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, she's going Hold to up, go can you find it, the Hummer? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find I covered out. it up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, Emil's gonna... gonna go... I assume... Ow. Okay, go ahead. I didn't hear a word you just said. No, I'm just like, because oh. you were hugging Emil, so Emil's gonna... Right, uh, I would assume, I mean, I don't know what Emil's doing, how he's hugging her, but if he does bend down to hug her on her level... Uh, Probably he'd have to. Maybe. She she is going to uh, whisper something in his ear. Okay. Come back, what you... please. Come come back. And you can hear like tears in her voice as she says. I'll make sure to come back. You better. <laughs> Don't and worry. She... <laughs> and she she disengages. <laughs> <laughs> Attack opportunity. No. So. She, she disengages and she she goes. She sits like on the couch. Okay. Or, or Emil's gonna give her one last just pan on the shoulder before he leaves. No. God, this is sad. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Also remember that all the uh, all of the food provisions have been brought inside, so yeah, tons of candy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sucker's are in my car. I was moving yeah. them over. And in my crunch bars and shit, man. You, you, you <laughs> brought all. I'm the one. I'm the one who bought all the candy. You don't give away my candy without asking. Well, I was bringing them. I was bringing them in. Did you? Um, I, was, I told everyone I was going to bring in the candy bars as soon as combat sash. Uh, Part. The combat he, said, he said he's got enough food and water for months. We ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you bring us candy bars back. To be fair, uh, you know what? I want, I want to role play this. Quick. Um, where did Emil put them when he brought them in? I would just want to dump them on the table because there's not nowhere yeah, else. Yeah, the coffee put. table in the middle. Yeah. So Arkea jumping the couch and seeing. <laughs> Seeing them on the on the table, she goes, she picks them up, she says, We have food, Emil. Take these with you. Chauncey's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> stream, like oh, Stream couldn't see it, candy. but <laughs> Stream couldn't see it, but Chauncey just teleported back into <laughs> the cabin immediately. <laughs> Fast travel, man. I need that candy. <laughs> I have, well, I don't expect to be out for very long. And she looks down to the floor. <laughs> He's gonna take a couple bars. Okay. All right. So you take a handful like a of bar, bars, bar or something. Yeah. <laughs> so you just take a you just take a handful. You say. Yeah. All right. So I'll say you could take five bars with you, but that'll take All up. Right. A block of inventory space. So I'm gonna eat one right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Great breakfast. <laughs> and with that, um, where does she know where the food is? Nope. <laughs> nope. I mean, you can well, ask he, he when said, they wake up. <laughs> yeah. He said, but she doesn't know where that is. So yeah. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Yeah. She. She. She's uh, literally. That's Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. Stop. Jacob. <laughs> the scratching begins. <laughs> <laughs> so, in that case, being a little girl and being. <laughs> this Chauncey need to use the bath. All right, fine. I'll bring up the, the baby thing. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Chauncey's in the oh, house. <laughs> I was dropping off some baby roots. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. I've got some yeah, baby roots. I'm not. You know, I don't. Yeah. All right, Gosh. so. <laughs> you guys are heading out at this point. Yes. All right. So you guys make start making your way towards the Hummer. Uh, Emil, I would say you know where the, uh, the Hummer is since you yep. hit it. So you oh. could easily make your way back there and pull the tarp off of it, essentially. Uh, so yeah, the Hummer is back there. It seems untouched. I, when I have my like alarm key fob, like boop boop, 
Yeah. Be able to find it that way. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. That's true. All right. So you guys load back up into the car or into the Hummer. Yep. Uh, what you I doing? Also took, I also took five candy bars, but I'm putting them in my trunk of my car now. Okay. In the yep. glove box of the so, Hummer. So ten got and probably and, and just in case a couple of bottles of water. Okay. Or you you're saying you left a couple of bottles of water? Uh, yeah. No. Just in case, I, I would have taken a couple bottles of water and put them in the uh, probably. Front seat I'll say, I'll say like we, we a, took in a out of cup the, holder. Out of the three out of the three point five gallons, we took one point five back with us. Okay, that's cool. One and a half gallons, and then ten candy bars total. That's what I have in my car. Sounds for good. Storage. All right. All right. So I want to put yeah. So then that's another plus four from me for my candy bars. That's what I, I meant. Your your five candy bars, my five candy one. bars, ten. Oh, okay, nine then. Yeah, we're doing some candy bar math right now. <laughs> this, is, this is serious role playing. You All know right. what? I'm gonna eat a crunch bar too. <laughs> we're about to we're about to head out. And we, it's and, it's and, assuming these are uh, rations that last. So as you guys go, you are eating candy bars. Never know where are you guys going. Um. We need to head back for Katara. Is there anywhere we need to go between here and there? I don't know because I don't know the layout of the city. <laughs> so I, I, I turn the truck on, fire up the CB radio and the radio. You know the, mm -hmm. the real. Yeah. Is there anything? Uh, you're a little bit out of the way. Uh, you're deep into the woods, and you your reception is generally poor. Uh, in this current area, so I would say uh, you would have to start moving before you could see if there's anything new. Okay, I guess we'll we'll head back back towards Tars, and I'm I'm going to keep an eye out to see if that same vehicle that was with us or is uh, is hanging around. Okay. Uh, so as you guys pull out of the dirt path area. Uh, yeah, me will make a perception check. <laughs> Can I? I? You did see my message earlier about my truck being completely locked up, though, right? When he was supposed to be making these trips back and forth. I'll say it was. I gave him the keys to unlock it and stuff. Yeah, and locked true. it back up, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just making sure. I don't want to have the situational awareness in my own trunk. <laughs> That's okay. It's like we've been driving around with a stranger in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, so you don't you don't uh, perceive much of anything. Um, the yeah. vehicle you're looking for doesn't seem to be around. Good. Steam being Do you want me to make a drive check? Uh Yeah, what sort of what sort of pace are you moving at back to the city? Uh, steady again? Yeah, steady. Alright, yeah. Go ahead and make a drive check. Let's see how you fare. Alright, good enough. So, you uh, make your way, gradually, uh, back to the city. It takes about an hour and a half or so uh, to get back at the rate that you're moving. Uh, as you return to downtown... Uh, let me change up our ambience here. Um, it definitely seems a lot less busy than when you last left it uh the uh the general traffic heading out of the city or you can't tell much of it from the areas that you're passing through on the way into the suburbs but it definitely seems uh, uh a lot quieter as far as traffic goes and more so commotion of the uh the outbreak itself starting to take a hold throughout the city there are screams off in the distance and gunfire here and there but there's but, no blockade. Uh, you didn't encounter a blockade on the way back to the city from where you were. Be very cautious of me. Yes. Uh, can I get two rounds of nine mil? Are you asking Chauncey um, that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I was going to say, D just... GM's not providing it. <laughs> <laughs> you just need two? Uh, I, I could probably take two rounds and I might need a mag. Depend because uh, those screams are not good. 
So like, uh, I can either I can take the two to top off and another mag uh, for backup, which would be another ten. I'll just give you my last twenty three rounds of nine millimeter. All right. I'm gonna reload my Glock, leaving me a twenty one spare. Okay, so you load up on the the ride up. Yep. So can we uh can we stop at the gun store or drive past it? Are you heading back to Kendo's? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit out of your way, but yeah, you definitely can if you uh, so desire. Yeah. All I'll right, so you head back to Kendo's. Anything along the way? Uh, that you notice? Like, is there any people fleeing in horror? <coughs> uh, make a perception check. Oh yeah, with that oh, yeah. you, uh, yeah, you've already noticed the periodic gunfire in the distance. But now, as you guys pass by, you peer off into an alleyway to the side and notice what looks to be a man being chased by a, a crowd of zombies in an alley. Uh, all right, we got we have hostiles really close. We need to we need to move quickly. So I'm, I'm I'm still driving steady. All right, so you drive steady, keep on towards uh, the downtown area where Kendo's Gun Shop is located. You find your way to the store easy enough. You know how to navigate these streets, and they're not too crowded yet at the moment. Although you see off in the distance some cars uh, that appear to be not necessarily parked, but crashed into the sides of buildings and whatnot. But not uh, along this particular path that you're treading. You eventually get to Kendo's Gun Shop. All right, let's go quick. I don't want to be out of the wait, wait, wait. car does for very it, long. Does it, does it look open? Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything uh, outstanding about it. The bell is still uh, off of the door from where you, uh, from when you last saw, but it doesn't seem closed. Is it? It's not boarded up or anything? Uh, not currently. All right. Let, let, yeah. Let's. I want to check on him. Yeah. Quick. We need. We need to move fast. You can stay in here if you'd like. I'll be. I'll I'm be going in. Quick. Okay. Just in case. I'm, 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 I'm right behind you. You have inspiration. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's been it's been too long. Yeah, it took them oh, more than an oh, hour yeah. to get oh, back to the city. Did I use inspiration on my perception check to find a car a long time ago? <laughs> no, you, the rule is you a long ass time ago. It's written into it that you have to yeah. decide before you know the result of your roll. So. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, sad days. <laughs> it's okay. I rolled like shit anyway. You can you can carry on like later on. You'd be like, you know what? When that girl hugged me, I was really tired. <laughs> it was three weeks ago, but damn, I feel <laughs> right now. Nope, lasts for ten minutes. Okay. All right, so That's you guys cool. exit the Hummer nope. uh, and start heading towards the uh, the Kendo's gun shop. Yeah. And I'm moving quickly, like with, I'm with moving tactfully. All right, I'm right next to him. AR out. Yeah, I'm assuming you guys are fa uh, falling into some sort of formation with your shared uh, yep. military training, and you uh, approach the door. Who's taking point? I will. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> flashlight on also. Mm, flashlight on. Yeah, the the light doesn't seem to be on inside as well, but you do try the door, and it does seem to be open. You throw it open. Do I see anybody? Anything? Uh, looking inside, uh, you. Uh, do notice uh, as you shine your light around the room, clearing the the room as you do. You see Kendo in the corner with his own AR-15, uh, <laughs> uh, racking it and uh, walking out from the back room, pointing at you like before. He's like, oh, oh, is that you, Chauncey? It's me. Yes, it is. It's me. Oh. Well, it's nice to see a friendly you, face. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy out still, there. Still haven't boarded up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get to it, but. First, I'm afraid, uh, I just can't help myself. I've been, people have been coming here looking for help, naturally. I've been rationing out firearms whenever I can to survivors. Are you, are you, uh, are you handing out guns? I'm afraid there's no time to be stingy. I have the largest supply in the city right now, and people need help. So, whenever people come by in, in, uh, in a good way... If they're agreeable, I let them part with a weapon. I, uh, am I, would you consider me a friend enough to offer me some weapons? <laughs> Any friend of Chauncey's is a friend of mine. Yeah, you All can. Right. 
I'm dropping this knife. Says <laughs> 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 yeah. And kitchen knife comes out of the pants and drop it. <laughs> so you you each can get uh, one free item uh, off of Kendo. I I want a better knife. Oh. Or, oh, actually, I mean, does he have a rifle? I'm afraid we're sold out on combat knives, uh, uh, but I right, do. I'm back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have rifles, shotguns. All right, uh, a couple what's, of handguns uh, still left, but nothing extraordinary oh. in that regard. A uh, sniper or assault? Uh, the well, this AR-15 is the most assault thing I have on me, and. I think I'd prefer to hold on to this one. I'll take a rifle if you have it. All right, yeah, I can do that for you. Sweet. All right, and he hands you. Let me go to the journal. All right, you receive Remington M70. Mm-hmm. Let's see that gun. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let me see that gun real quick. Let me nope. do that. Nope. Let me do a little uh, let me persuade you. Nope. Let me check that gun out real quick. Nope. You gonna contest my persuasion? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'll intimidate you. Hey, you can I go. See this uh, gun you got sure. Here, bro. Yeah, it's a nice gun. <laughs> so yeah, he. Uh... <laughs> it's intimidate. What do I have to do against that? I don't. Make, make an insight check. <laughs> With advantage, is, because you don't want to give him the gun. <laughs> and, With advantage, and, you said. Yeah, with advantage because he didn't oh do anything, and you're not Thank you're God. not complacent. Oh, you are lucky you had advantage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Luck's the word for it. <laughs> he just doesn't want to give you that gun, Chauncey. You get the sense. So, uh, but yeah, he hands you the Remington M70. It's kind of a um, uh, wooden-looking hunting rifle type of thing. Bolt action. It's got a nice <laughs> scope on the top. Uh, definitely for civilian use, but not not bad for its purpose. So, you have the stats oh, for that now. Anyways. Yep, yep. All right, I asked him if he has any ammo left over. Oh, does this come with ammo? Uh, it comes with uh, full up to its capacity. <laughs> That's not a lot. <laughs> Four bullets. All right. Rather, it was the uh, Remington M700. Rather, I think I misspoke earlier. Yeah, yeah is what is what he had. I get what you that, that was. That was the shotgun. Was the uh, 870. But yeah, M700 <laughs> Remington. It's all yours, pal. A bump. I swear, I'll give it back to you once all this blows over. <laughs> Don't sweat it if you can. With it. Well, you know, business is business. I'm gonna head back to the car. Okay, you start heading back to the uh, the Hummer. You doing anything mm. else, Chauncey? Yeah, I was asking about ammo. Oh, uh, well, you sold me out of quite a bit the last time you were here. We still got uh, 7.62 NATO rifle rounds. It'll go well with that uh, with that rifle your friend just walked away with. <laughs> Is that all you got? I mean. <laughs> I've crossbow bolts still left if you're interested in that. Uh, I was looking for more some 5.56 ammo. Uh, I'm afraid uh, uh, you sold me out of that last time. All right, I'll, I'll take your uh, I'll take your seven. What was it? Seven point seven six. Seven six two. Yeah, seven point six two by. So yeah, seven point six two by fifty one millimeter NATO rifle rounds, which I believe is like three oh seven or something. How much does it stack up to, and how much does it? Uh, so you like? you get a stack of fifteen, um, because you didn't take a weapon. This is this is the free item he's giving you. Oh, I was gonna probably take an, a weapon too. Oh, well, uh... <laughs> I was just buy an ammo. <laughs> 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 Whatever he's got, he's I'm like... willing to buy. You <laughs> see, he's like handing you like the the, the ammunition. You're like, oh, here's money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know me, I don't, I don't take handouts. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you insist. Uh, so yeah, that'll set you back one hundred fifty dollars if you're purchasing it, uh, and you get a stack of fifteen rounds. Oh, only fifteen? Yeah. 
That's how much five, it stacks not up. Five zero, right? One yeah. five, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But hey, those could do some power. I mean, you saw. I, know, that's I, know, actually I, just, saw that, I wanted that, to make sure yeah. I was putting the right numbers in there. Yeah. The dog got one shot in with that rifle. I couldn't believe that. You said one fifty. Yeah, hundred fifty dollars. They'll set you back. Okay. All right. Um, and you said he what had a shotgun left over? Uh, yeah, I have a pump-action shotgun, the Remington M M870. Uh, I've seen you running around with uh, uh, what looks to be a semi-auto, though. I doubt it's any better than yours. I also have a double-barrel shotgun if you're interested in that, but again, I think you might be better off. Uh, Benelli out outperforms that. Yeah, a Benelli. Uh, what definitely outperforms what I have here. Anything better than the Breda M9? I got a Glock as well. I, I'll, I'll take that one as my freebie. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'm willing to part with that. So he hands you over a uh, square-looking Glock across the counter, removes the uh, safeties and whatnot, and loads it up for you. So you have an another Glock 17 now in your possession. No, I, I don't have a, two of them. I only have one now. Yeah, yeah, another one in, as far as uh, the general uh, party's inventory goes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I'll need the player card, though. Oh, yeah. A uh, little stat sheet. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah, get yeah. that to you. I'm just stocking all this stuff in, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> How much can you hold uh, uh, 762 ammo on you? Uh, Stacks up to 15. Okay. So he got a full stack off of Kendo. I'm gonna walk back to the Hummer and tell him yeah. to be safe. You board up these damn doors, man. Keep whatever else you got left. <laughs> Don't give out to anybody else. Oh, I board can't the hell up. Can't help him, you man. Need, you need to survive, man. I need to be buying off you when this is all over. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. I hope to see you all when this all blows over. You've been a loyal customer, sure. Chauncey. You're my best friend. Oh, I appreciate that. that. <laughs> you're, my, you're a real good friend of mine like I, I would hate to buy from anybody else oh well I appreciate that hey stay safe my man always do I see any like bags or anything bags like yeah like bags or belts that can <laughs> hold more ammunition uh no you don't okay okay I'm moving on then all right. Oh, <laughs> any more, oh, more inventory? Did I, did I spot any armor? Um, oh, I really need it. I, I will say you yet. didn't. I will say you didn't. Okay. But you've you've bugged your dad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he had anything good, but I need like a jacket. <laughs> uh, are we back in the Hummer now? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So you guys uh, load up back in the right, Hummer. Katara, quickly. Yeah. All right. So you start driving out towards the suburbs. Uh, I would say, uh, you, given your previous drive check, you managed to get there easy enough given time. Uh, it's now uh, pushing later into the morning, but it's still pretty early in the day. The sun's beating down above you. Uh, you get to the suburbs. You get uh, navigate back to uh, Katara's residence. Anything change? Mm, looks the same from on the door. exterior. Uh, from, yeah, when you last saw it. Still, <laughs> yeah, beat up how you left it with the broken front door. All right. Uh, nothing around us? See any people? Uh, any, make a perception any, any, check. Any shadies? Any, any shady people? Perception check. Hey, Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Leo can perceive. Yeah, if you have any you of that situational awareness. <laughs> well, I, I guess uh, with this, what same thing with if, if he looks around, just advantage or whatever. Yeah, you can make perception checks with advantage if you're looking for shady people, like Emil yeah. put it. Yeah, uh, yeah I thanks, guess I thanks look to, for shady people. Thanks to your situational awareness. Because we're in the suburbs now. There's definitely people here. Just perception. All right. 16. So, 16, uh, looking around, I mean, there was the, uh, uh, on your way in, you did the usual sidestep of the, uh, car crash that had, uh, been in the middle of the road that you saw the last time you were here, looking around, the, uh, 
the houses nearby, there doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about them other than the fact that it's just completely still around here. Uh, you get the sense that everyone in the suburbs is either... Uh, if they've been turned, they've been turned within the confines of their home, like the children that you saw in the other house. So, you don't mm -hmm. see anybody really walking around out in the suburbs, and you don't see anybody that seems to be following you. Looks clear. Let's get going. How much space you got in that bag of yours? I have one item slot left. Think fast. Do not throw the ammo at him. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it. Pocket. <laughs> All right, you got 15 rounds for your rifle. Uh, now you owe, me, you owe me under one condition, though. You owe me one shot when I want it. All right, I guess that's fair. <laughs> All right. You need to get help, man. Man, I love it. <laughs> yep. All right, let's get inside. All yep. right. Do the puzzle. So you <laughs> so you guys, you guys head back it, uh, into the Oswald household. Yep. Uh, Three, two, one, five, four, five, zero, oh, two, eight. <laughs> hey, are you, are well, you, you're you're not going well, to do that. Yeah, are you heading back up to that area? Yeah. Okay. So as you head back up to the master bedroom, you find uh, Katara just sort of. Wait, wait, oh, so it's late in the morning. Yeah, you see, you find Katara just sort of rousing awake, uh, on the 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 massive. California king bed that is in the master bedroom. She has clothes on, right? <laughs> I'm no, on no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> this... Katara. What? Huh? All right, wiki wiki, eggs and bakey, time to leave. <laughs> eggs and bakey. Oh, 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 Emil, hi. Uh, you're back. Yep, we got a safe place. We got a safe spot in the in the mountains. A lot safer than being here. Okay, well, that's that's uh, that's a good thing. Um. Oh, uh, the the water. Yes. The water. Okay. Um, it's contaminated, definitely, T virus, but it's a different. It, it's it's still the T virus, but it's a more. Uh, potent strain in a sense potent it's yeah it's it's like mutated a bit it's still the same thing but it's slightly changed does it seem intentional or is it natural mutation uh i think it was natural right yeah you determined that yeah. it was a pretty natural t mutation yeah. just that it'd been through a few organisms before it got to the into the water supply yeah all right yeah it's it's natural i mm. mean it's been through quite a few other things beforehand interesting so this may be an accident then uh, well, it, that's, it's not determined for that. Um, but, uh, is Chauncey here? Right here, in the doorway. <laughs> uh, okay, Chauncey, um, so I, we can't go back down in the basement. Why? Um, I quarantined the basement. Uh, there was a bit of a spill. Mm. Bit of a spill. A, a bit of a spill. A spill. A spill. You said. Yeah. Um. I don't have a lab anymore. All right. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> like. <laughs> you. You need to. You need are, are, to start explaining. Are you like, like similar to. Um. Like, I. If you boom. go and. It, well, if you if you were to go into the basement, I don't know what's gonna happen to you, but uh, I spilled the T virus. Guitar <laughs> oh, no. is is it contained down there? Um, it's not coming up. I can tell you that much, but there's no going down. Is there any way for? Is there any? Is there any reason for us to go down there then? Um, no. I, I mean, unless you want another sample to, you know, use against Umbrella. Did you grab all the yellow herbs before you went up? Oh, no. 
We're going down. All yeah, right, let's go, everyone. We're going down. <laughs> All right, uh, th here we go. No. Oh, no. <laughs> voice inside of me. Oh. Come back to me, Come back to me. Oh. I would say, I think... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, or did I grab everything when I came out? I want to. I would say it's pretty I logical to did. conclude you were because you yeah. had you had time. You were suited up and everything. I yeah. think it's logical to conclude that you would have taken all of the temporary items that you had lying about. So, okay, uh, yeah, actually, no. She's, she's just gonna point to a near to a nearby dresser right there. Can oh, you, good. Can you please fill me in on why and how you spilled this? virus sample that I needed. Okay, so I had to I had to take samples and kind of go through and uh, so I had to look at the water then I also had to look at the sample itself but I had to open the sample, pour it on, you know, do some tests with that. Well, walking around I tripped. <laughs> I'm gonna and... inside check her. <laughs> and make I'm an inside check. check. <laughs> I went inside no, check as well. Mind. I believe everything she's fucking saying. <laughs> like, yeah, you're clumsy. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I knew, knew it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, Chauncey, you definitely believe what she's saying. Emil, uh, you have a little bit more insight, and you, you are a little bit more discerning. You get the sense that she's kind of telling the truth. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> that's, that's what I was. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> I was. I was hoping that she was like lying, because that would mean that if we gave her another sample, she wouldn't just fall with it. <laughs> you get the sense that she's not lying. Please continue. Continue on why we don't put you in a padded cell somewhere. <laughs> well, you. You see, I know, I, I know you needed this for evidence. But well, it's a whole basement full of evidence now. Uh, well, not really. If you go down there, something bad's going to happen. What I suggest, though, is there is a place we can go that might house more samples. I say might, mm. but we might have. You might have to stock up a bit more before we go because it'll be back at that pharmacy where we first met. Uh, that might be worth it. What pharmacy? Uh, I worked at a... I, well, I worked underground. And... Uh, it, uh, the pharmacy over there, there's a way underground into the labs. It's another underground lab. Another facility. <sighs> Knew it. Can I just throw my hands up in the air? And be like... <laughs> I've been here for this long. An umbrella... Uses all these underground facilities I don't know about. You'd be surprised what Umbrella's into. This yeah. This is driving me nuts. This is my town. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'll storm out the door. I am sick of these underground tunnels and these underground houses. Um, but if we're going to get another sample, there might be more than one down there. there I it think could it's... Be. I think it's definitely worth it. I think we should, we should group up first and then make another plan to see if we can, we can head out. All right. I like that. All, All right. right. Heading back Do to the think, car. I, t I turn around, though. Do you think we have time to regroup? I mean, we can. We have until the, the, the quarantine lifts. And what not gonna, it does not... Well, then we have infinite amount of time. I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's see. Either the quarantine lifts, and then they run a full investigation, and you're and you're going to be left out of it. It's going to be federal all the way up. Or the quarantine doesn't lift, and eventually everybody in the city dies. Right. And we erase things that are dead. Yes. And if we can survive, we can hopefully prevent this from happening to another city. Right, but how much time do you think we actually have? Can I... Do I know how long a quarantine might take? Uh... I'll I want to say, say uh, it's like in the in the vein of like a, a week or two weeks. Make a, make a history check. Key. 
Wouldn't I also have some kind of idea of this too? Hmm. With your particular background, I would say less so than Emil. I would say just okay. because Emil's military and physician background combined into one, uh, I would say that it would is the only reason I'm letting him make a check. What so, about chemistry right, and right, science? <laughs> Chemistry and science is pretty good. You know but about I would what say, happens before the. Yeah, outbreak. I was gonna say I don't. I don't think you have the necessary uh, yeah. idea of the the governmental movements that would that are at play. So I would say with your role, that's good enough. Though you you get the sense that uh, quarantines for epidemics of this scale can last quite a while, and for the severity that you've seen, uh, you get the sense that it'll be days, maybe even a week or so more. Minimum days. Maximum, who knows, weeks. Depends on how bad it is, and this is bad. I'm I'm putting it somewhere between one to two weeks. Okay. <laughs> so, what, do you want to regroup with everybody and go down, or do we want to go down without everybody? I, th I think the more people we have, the better chance we're going to we'll have it, there's, there's no point in waiting if they're just going to stay and like live it out I already know if we go down and then we come back and Archaea finds out <laughs> Archaea is not going to be happy yeah well <laughs> I mean I don't even get hugs anymore bro <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get hugs anymore. Oh my god. I fire up the Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Chauncey storms out, <laughs> beelining it for the vehicle. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in the car. All yeah, right. Everybody loads That's up okay. into the vehicle. Oh. And with that, as you guys join together and regroup into the Hummer, uh, I think that's going to be where we wind things down for tonight. So. I'm, I'm going to talk with her about. Um, the virus some more <laughs> <laughs> yeah we could pick up with that conversation and that little bit of dialogue at the beginning of the next session i say so bear that in mind and uh yeah that's gonna be where episode eight comes to a close thank you all very much for playing and uh thank you to anyone who might still be in the chat i see Ro uh troy still hanging out rojaniel mm -hmm. <laughs> uh but yeah that was that was, that was another fun one that was pretty great all right, so that being said, if there's nothing else to be added, I do believe we'll that is it. Bring this stream down to a close. Again, a big shout out to our friend Sayers for uh, making guest appearance in these two episodes back to back. Hey. Uh, so yeah, that was that was, that was pretty neat. Uh, bring that diversity into the group, which actually, again, as I pointed out last time, worked out well because you guys essentially still stayed a party of four the whole time. Yeah, like, still, just like it's it's a it's gonna be that way the whole the whole way through. No matter who's 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 here and who's in a basement, mm. tripping over in a towel. their towel. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't in the basement this time. She's sitting in a freaking bed. <laughs> you have clothes I, on, right? I really want like I really oh, want to yeah. know how how it panned out. Like I'm dying to hear. How you tripped? <laughs> like off this vial. <laughs> like I like in my head, it's a full anime scene where she's like in a giant hazmat suit and she's got a little vial and she's like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm picturing more of her in her towel, dropped it, went to catch it, dropped the vial. <laughs> tripped over something in the midst, dropped the vial, ran for a hazmat suit. <laughs> uh, Tink spill. Oh no! <laughs> I just no? want to know how poorly you had to roll. <laughs> it was okay. It was, it was pretty bad. It was, it was pretty, pretty epic. Bad. It was pretty epic <laughs> levels of bad rolls. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it, it was good, and then when it came to moving, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so, like it's a whole ordeal. Yeah, it was wow. a full, a full I'm skill glad challenge. That I'm just a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trusted with that kind of stuff. Uh, 
So with that being said, we're going to uh, wind this stream yep, yep. down for tonight. We'll see you guys in another two weeks as we continue this adventure and the party makes their way towards the underground laboratory. Famous, actually, setting from Resident Evil 2. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much to Hoyle as well for moderating and uh, handling the polling in the chat uh, and being there to handle that. And, of course... Uh, Troy, Illorescence, and everybody else who was here. Kakikori was hanging out for a good bit, but of course he had to head off because Europeans, and it's yep. ridiculous that he stays up for our streams at all. So, oh, yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys in two weeks. Peace! Squared. Have a good night. God bless. Duh, my thing. <laughs> good night, you dreams, all the good things. <laughs> <laughs> my thing.